Hello, everyone. It's me, Alan. Thank you for listening to the show. I just wanted to let you guys know, um, this is the first episode that we had a guest on, our friend Michael Roberts, um, beautiful human being. Despite the fact that I told Michael Roberts during the recording, I think before the recording, to kind of keep his hands to himself and stop bumping the mic, uh, it happens quite frequently during this episode, and I just wanted to put that out there. Um, you're going to be hearing some some booming every once in a while, but I mean it's it's not going to be too too bad. But that's uh, that's Michael Roberts doing that. Just to let you know, just so everyone knows, he did it so many fucking times. But other than that, this is a great show. It's one of our longest so far. We have a very good time. Hope you enjoy. shit that on the packaging it says not fit for human consumption. I guarantee that's fit for human <laughs> consumption. Y'all, y'all heard about Mojo? <laughs> Trying to sell that shit as incense? I know it's drugs. I don't know if pedigree... <laughs> you can't we're... fool me. I'm gonna smoke that shit. Cat fucking chow. I don't know what that is. That's drugs. <laughs> now that's drugs. It'll make you paranoid as fuck. Yo, I've seen feel drugs. feel awful, but it'll get you high. <laughs> I've seen drugs before, man. And I know it's drugs. That's right. That's it's fucking yellow leaves and shit. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the show, yeah, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, <laughs> welcome this, to the show. Uh, this is Coming of Age. This is a movie podcast. <laughs> we talk about movies and uh, anything related to movies. And yeah, We like bad movies. We like good movies. We <laughs> like all movies. We <laughs> just have a good time watching movies, talking about movies. We, we, we like movies, all, you know? Yeah. We like horror movies. We like art movies. We like erotic movies. We like pornos. It's anything. Biopic, anything, R&B, yeah. psychedelic. None of it's off limits. R&B movies. We love. That's like uh, how, how Stella got her groove back. Yeah, baby. That is like an R and B movie. Dude, I was trying to like think of what an R and B movie is. How so, Stella got her groove back is a fucking R and B movie, bro. Ooh, Tyler Perry's. Perry. Ba- uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like if Genuine's My Pony made a movie, right? Like. Yeah, that's my, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just waiting for uh, Tyler Perry to show up in the Black Panther movie. Oh my right? god, <laughs> as Medea. <laughs> Dude, what's you know, up? Black Panther, All y'all white people in the theater, get the fuck out. Black Panther could have only have been in, more improved by adding Tyler Perry, Chris Tucker. Wait, did you watch it? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, okay, well. I'm not gonna see it in, in theaters. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hello! Yeah, um, you see it like um, opening night, didn't you, Alan? Black Panther? You saw that yes, on, on Thursday. We'll we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> um, uh, a lot to come. This this is my counterpart, my most beautiful magical man, Chase Cummins. <laughs> oh, thanks. And this is my uh, wonderful co-host and bestest friend of all time, Alan Loosebrock. All right, don't say it so sarcastically. <laughs> 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 but thank you. I meant it sincere, but the sarcastic tone was accidental. But the robot voice came out, and you, and then, and then, and then it was fake, and then <laughs> that was a fake as fuck compliment. And and this is our this is our good friend uh, Mike Roberts right here on the track. He's a good man. Say hello, Mike. Hey, dude. So I'll catch my breath in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. All um, right. So I'm going to start off and ask the question, you seen anything good this week? <laughs> That's a good question. <clears throat> I got to say, uh, I don't think it was this week. I think it was um, last Sunday. I don't know when High Maintenance comes out. I think it's on Sunday nights. I think it's on Sunday nights. Um, So it wasn't... I I actually have to catch up on an episode. Episode 5 just aired this last... um, Put the knife away. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> he's flicking a knife over yeah, here, like while he's recording. But he's not very. It's not like he's very, you know, good. It's like, with all right, it. tell, you see me, how, you see tell me, tell me about the movies, okay? <laughs> tell me about the movies, or I'll fucking cut you. What move? What's your favorite thing you've seen this week? <laughs> what, you <laughs> motherfucker! You what, fucking, listen, you little fucking sinner, bitch. Fucking piece you of tell, shit. You tell me fucking. what the fuck you want this week. <laughs> oh, you gonna get the knife? Listen, I'm looking for content. I'm looking for fucking content. I need content. I gotta watch something. Good, and I don't know what's good. You gotta tell me what's good, motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. But anyway, Can't episode four. Episode four. I think it was episode four. Episode four of uh, season two HBO style of high maintenance was one of the best fucking things I've seen in a, um, in a like I don't know. It's so weird that that show is so like. Um, a comedy and like a drama and makes you feel so much like at the same time that like it's still super funny which is crazy that you're like you're having such a good time watching it so fucking hilarious but like it also like shocks you and like makes you a little frightened and like uncomfortable sometimes That's awesome it's super awesome but this episode was just so good and uh me and my friend dina watched it all of our friend Dina, but I'm yeah, just you know for all these for the ex- listeners yeah. who don't know who Dina is, it's a friend, it's a, a friend. mutual friend of the of the group. Yeah, this of person, the present party, this person is a friend. Uh, it was a very good time watching it. We took these edibles, we took these gummy edibles. Oh, how are those? It was it was a great time. I also <laughs> took them before Black Panther, and I had oh. a very good time. Uh, but uh, we this is the first time like me taking these these edibles and we were just like let's just chill like eat some pizza and watch some shit and we watch high maintenance and it was like the most amazing episode ever it was so good i definitely recommend it <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I can't like i can't tell you about it like you know what happens why it's so great you literally just have to watch it it's 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 critical shit <laughs> critical that's awesome is it Bro, like it, it ends it, it, it ends so fucking great the, it does how does it compare to the uh web series episode where they all go on the retreat and take mushrooms like at their friend's house <laughs> that's a great episode that's is a great it like one, in that level but it's 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 not like as like conversationally strong like it's not just like all like that episode is honestly like one of my favorite ones it's edited so well but this one is uh this one is more of like stories colliding together, like different people's stories, and like they all kind of like come together at the end, and uh, it's just such a twist kind of ending. It's uh, it's amazing. I, I really don't know what to say. Like, just please, I'll if you don't, if you do not watch, watch that show, you need to watch that show. That's all I'm saying right now. You fucking stop. We need to turn off this podcast. <laughs> watch the show. Pause it. Come back. We'll still be going. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I could share more, but that's probably Once the most amazing okay. thing. Um, I'm, I'm putting it on my list. I'll watch it this week. Please, please. Do one it. more time. One more time. What is it? What is it called? High maintenance. High maintenance. So it's like it's uh, play so, on words. so if you've never so if you've never seen the show at all, it's about this uh, bike courier, uh, bearded bearded fellow in New York City, who sells weed on his bike. Love it already. You just travel, it is a play you know. on words then. High maintenance. High maintenance. Yeah. Okay. I love it already. Yeah. It's high maintenance. So he. Uh, so he. Every episode of the, the it, it started as a Vimeo series and then it got bought out by HBO, who's actually doing it great. Like they're giving them all the freedom that they want. It seems like you know I don't fucking that's know. I'm not, H- I'm not on set. That's what HBO is good at. But it's yeah, they're freedom, right? Yeah, it, tits and I, fucking, I think so. I think so. Right? Yeah, you, yeah. They you do. Prove they do a very good job to that, to that that company at, with your idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then yeah. they will give you complete fucking freedom to do whatever you want. And it's like, like a, people pay for it's this like shit a, extra. Like it's a single side. I think if you've convinced them that like this will sell they'll give you a sink or swim like make what you want and if it's good we'll keep <coughs> coming and if people don't like it you get the axe yeah right, right, right. it's usually pretty fucking good fucking a, and now they, they, have, that, they have an they don't throw that deal shit. against anybody H- yeah yeah now they got a couple and... apps okay calm down i'm sorry okay you're right you're right you're right <laughs> so it started out we are advertising vi- start out as a vimeo <laughs> series and every episode was named after a different client that he had Oh, okay, so, so like Matilda, you know, Denny, you know, something like whatever. that. Yeah, Doctor Stan wasn't an episode, but <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> and uh, it, I, I, 
the episodes in HBO aren't named after people. They're more named like, you know, just normal titles, which is, that's fine. You know, that's a change. But, no. <laughs> we'll take it. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's a learning curve. You got to get used to it. Really it really doesn't, uh, doesn't sound too good over there, Alan. <laughs> uh, you know, the titles, you if upset? the show wasn't so good, I'd stop watching it. <laughs> Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, well, I'm glad it's good. Based then. entirely yeah. on this title switching <laughs> shit. I'm not about so it. So good. So good. We're so getting good, sidetracked so good. again. Continue. It's totally fine. We we shall get sidetracked. You're on your way to work. Maybe you're in your bedroom, not doing a damn thing. You're just listening to this. That is a waste of time. Naked. That is a waste of time. What being butt naked? Being butt naked, <laughs> listening listen to... to this, being very <laughs> vulnerable to every word that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> It's <laughs> literally slapping you across the cock. <laughs> or titty. Or titties. <laughs> if you have more than one, right? <laughs> or yeah, we all have more than one. Yeah, you know, it depends on the angle. And the sound waves. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway. Anyway, um, High Maintenance was good. Anyway, High Maintenance is great, and that's that's like the best thing I've watched in the last couple weeks. Um <laughs> I ha- will go on, and then I will I'll very shortly just say that I watched Fellowship of the Ring again, Ooh. and it was fucking amazing. <laughs> Love and that movie. Honestly, like, started uh, Two Towers, and, like, the editing, the editing in, in two, towers. two Towers is incredible. Yeah, it's great. It's literally, like, like, to have, like, a fantasy film at that fucking height and, like, still be, like, done by such a, like... It's so straight. Like, Peter Jackson's, like, career before that is, like, so, like, weird and shit. And, like, that he got to do that is insane to me, honestly. I know. And, the like, fact the, that he was but a candidate the fact that that project. He, the well, fact he, that he was a candidate and made it and also made it very well is, like, Oh, yeah. It's insane. the best. It's the best version that we're probably ever going to see, at least for a long time. Yeah, please don't ever make it again. Um, I think it's the... I think you it's know, like, in a hundred years, whatever. Ever, like, if you've run yeah. out of scripts again. Sure. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the best version of If the of cloud that is so full <laughs> that they can't store the fucking Fellowship of the Ring. It's literally, I honestly think it's literally perfect. The mm. whole trilogy. The, especially, in it's my great. opinion, the extended editions. That is a, it's fantastic. That's an insane compliment um, coming from you guys, right? Because like, most people are super nitpicky with that movie. Aren't you they? Well, like, I, I, picky, I am not like, a... Right? Aren't they, though? It's pretty... It's pretty fucking faithful to that book series. I think even like someone yeah, like so I'm, that's why it's I am, so fucking drawn I am not, I am not this, right? yeah. I'm not a person who like read all of the uh, books. I read The Hobbit. Because you're not 900 like, years I read, old, bro. I, <laughs> who when the I was fuck has that amount of time? <laughs> yeah, sure. Holy I'm not shit. an elf. Oh, what, yeah, oh, yeah, what? Oh, oh. Got him. Got him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from say? Rivendale, bitch. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm okay. looking for Strider in this motherfucker. Literally, the the I mentioned the, to this to you the other night. I'll tell you apart from Fellowship of the Ring, and I'll tell you apart from <laughs> Two Towers. Fellowship of the Ring is a more funny part that I noticed. It, I think it's hilarious when they're in the bar, uh, like in the inn. It's an inn with a bar. And it's where they meet uh, Strider, who is Viggo Mortensen, fucking Aragorn. Aragorn, the true <laughs> king of Gondor. King, <laughs> king, heir of Isildur. <laughs> the heir. Isildur's heir. Aragorn. Holy shit, Saramile. Pack up your fucking bags. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Isildur's bane rests among Frotos. But, but there's this part where <laughs> this guy is like, they're just all just chilling in this bar, like Sam and fucking all, you know, all those bitches. The two cousins or whatever. Uh, Mary and Pippin. Mary and Pippin are. Uh, they're, they're just friends. friends. They're just like friends. They're just homies. The shit. best friends. They're, okay. They, they probably, the shit. You know, one of them's probably the got rascals. 11 toes and they're related somehow, but. <laughs> <laughs> the little rascals. They're honestly my favorite part of everything, honestly. Like, Pip, before, Pippin before Mary's like, adventures everything are the best. is secondary to Mary and Pippin. I love. <laughs> Honestly, like, <laughs> Pepper, uh, took. just their oh stupid God. shit. It really does add a lot Love to the movie, so though, right? Literally, like, literally, like, if they had great. not done this dumb thing, there probably wouldn't be this next hour of the movie. Literally, the beginning. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they're central. They're central figures in the story. <laughs> right. the, be- the beginning, the beginning of Fellowship of the Ring, when it's like fucking Bilbo's birthday. And they're like, let's fucking around. Let's yeah. go, get, let's let's get, get, the, get fireworks. Let's get the best 
worst bar work there is. Yeah, and they blow it off, and then they're like literally covered in like ash and shit. It's, it's like a comedy, dude. It's hilarious. It's literally like a comedy. And you think it's gonna, and it's like scary for a second. You're like, oh shit, it's a dragon. That yeah. shit's magical, and then it just fucking turns into this amazing fireworks show. And, and they're, they're like, let's like, get oh! another one. <laughs> and then Gandalf like grabs them by their ears, like they're fucking the Three Stooges. Yeah. It's literally like it's so so classic comedy That's such a good and yeah, like, like watching it again comedy. like it's it's insane it's like i have dude. not i don't know when the last time i it's watched it's fucking wholesome it is very wholesome it's a fantastic word to use buddy i will i believe you it. can't you I can't go it. through that movie and not get like the tingles right mm-hmm. yes chicken skin dude but oh, let me get back to it. let me get back, get back to it by the end of that series i am look at us getting all nostalgic let me get back to it so okay let me say this really quick please um so he's in the bar and this guy is just like Hey, don't cause any trouble, and no trouble will come to you. And he cheers like Frodo, and Frodo's like, like the look on his face is like, "Yep, yeah, I believe that." And like, fucking drinks his beer, and you're like, like literally, I rewound it and just watched that and like filmed it, and I was just like, "Oh shit, Frodo, like you are fucked." <laughs> you were like, "You're like, yep, I believe that." All the words to live by, and it's just like. Dude, you are yeah, you yeah. are going down. You got a lot to learn. You were gonna yeah. be so. You do you know how hard destroyed. that fucking precious is trying to get back to its master? It's gonna use you. <laughs> it's gonna abuse you. <laughs> you are back not to the. It is an R B movie. <laughs> Yeah. Cue the Jay Z oh. soundtrack. God damn it. <laughs> but anyway, from Two Towers, my favorite part so far that I watched. I watched today. I was watching Two Towers. And it's the part when uh, um, they all show up, like Aragorn, Gimli, Gimli uh, Legolas, and Gandalf the White show up in Gondor. I think it's Gondor. That's the land of the men, right? Rohan. It's Ro- Rohan. 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 The, horse, the, ho- the horse people. Yes. 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 Okay. And like they ca- he casts Saruman out of the king. Oh, no, no. He, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But the, the, yeah, worm, but the, tongue. the worm, worm tongue. Worm tongue which is, is like being poisonous. But he casts he, that. He, Brad fucking Doris. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome as shit. But literally, uh, Saruman's like talking through the king, like at Gandalf, Gandalf you know. Yeah. And Gandalf casts him out. And literally, you see Gandalf like lunge and lunge with his staff. And you see uh, the king's face is like, whoa! And then you see, fuck, it just cuts to Saruman in his castle, like, flying. And it's yeah. such a good cut. It's so good. It's an amazing edit. And it's just like, oh, it looks so good. I love it. Like, how it looks. It's seamless and shit. It's right? seamless as yeah. shit. It, it's some artful. <laughs> it's some artfully put together. It's very good. Fucking story. And, uh, and I need That's to, why I think it's the best version of the series we're going to get. Because it's like everything you need to know it's like all the character motivations the psychology is accurate like all the Dude, characters that's are three dimensional there's yeah. no fat being chewed in that shit right yeah it's it, like fucking... it is lean mean to the point and it is what's it's like there's some shit that's different in the books but like yeah for sure there's, the ultimate there's, outcome a, lot, is there's the same a lot more and like, yeah you know there's it, a ton there's a ton but it, but that's that's <laughs> right, right. that God that damn, begs the hard, argument yeah. of like the hobbit where it's like like there's not a lot and they, they added expanded so well, much that they, they added. added. Okay. It's like, oh my god, it fucking killed so me. Everything in the Hobbit, <laughs> everything insane. in the Hobbit is from the Silmarillion, which oh, is just in, a fucking better bring that up, man. It's in, which is in. <laughs> I swear to God, you're fucking picking my brain right now, dude. <laughs> my fucking ex, Jackie, reads the Silmarillion. It's huge as shit, yeah, too. It's like a, it's, it's like the, the history huge. of the earth, yes. but it's the Middle Earth. She reads and it's it fake, too, but yeah, yeah, it's fucking all ties it's, it's in. It's all it's fiction. Very, very thorough. <laughs> it's very convincing, right? You're like, God damn, is this a there fucking real place? Of, uh, well, there's like myths and legends they and have all their, this there's, shit. Yeah, there's the several and languages and... Fully fleshed out. Yeah. You know, written you out know, and you shit. Know, all right. present Ed, in Ed Helms, the rings. Ed Helms God, in They, yeah, yeah, they Came is, Together. Right. Ed Helms in They Came Together, his character is like... <laughs> it's like, uh, my teacher gave us The Great Gatsby. And I read it and I said, this is amazing. Is this real? Did this really happen? And my teacher said, no. And he said, well, then why'd they write it down? 
Helms. Uh, came together. With, I just rewatched that. Right. that? Ed, Ed that Helms. Uh, you know the actor Ed Helms. He plays. He's in the office. Is like where he kind of like became like a shining star. He's in, in the, uh, hangover. the Hangover really as well. In He's doctor. Oh, hundred percent. Then yeah, yeah. I know yeah, you're... doctor. Uh, what do they call? He gets the face something? tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, Dr. Yes. Phil, yeah. He's Dr. <laughs> Dr. Paging Dr. Idiot. <laughs> Some shit like that. Yeah, I love The Hangover. That's a good movie. Fucking A. First one, though, right? First one. The first movie is the funny. I remember good. seeing it in theaters, working at Carmike. It's like a pre-release, so it's like two days before it actually <laughs> it came out. Amazing. And it was just the, all, all the employees, and it was a fun fucking experience. <laughs> it was a very yeah. good time. So I can't there knock was... the first movie. I did We both fun. worked at a theater together. Really? Is yeah, it was fantastic. No I mean, shit. So you guys I mean, experienced this ago. movie together? The Hangover? Oh, yes. Really? So yes, there was a lot of out. There was a lot of hype and shit over that. Because that was like Zach Galifianakis' first fucking... Big movie. We were yeah, really great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we and dude, dude yeah, come on. Zach Galifianakis' the, oh, is yeah. Live of the Purple, Live Onion. The Purple Onion. Dude, come on. Amazing. Yeah, he's like playing the piano and he like looks at the camera. He's like... Dude, it's like... Art- another it's, beer. It's like artistry and like silliness. It's like super silly. He's like, fuck you, Phil. Or whoever that guy is in the... Yeah. Front row. Fuck you! Fuck. Why did you put them up front? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're not even uh, fucking laughing. I need this fucking doctor. You're staring ruining at me. my fucking special, <laughs> my fucking Netflix special, and you're ruining it. God damn it, <laughs> Phil. God damn it. Yeah, like, just puts his. You're like he'll be playing beautiful music, and then just fucking put his elbow on the piano yeah, yeah. and like put his hand over his head. God like, damn it, God Phil. fucking damn it. <laughs> that was that was to me the it's so. Funny. That when he was doing that kind of shit was the height of comedy for me. God, did, did like so oh, fucking hilarious, bro. Like, okay, so let's talk about stand-up comedy. So there's been a lot of great stand-up comedy coming out. Yeah, there has been recently. You know, like pretty much on Netflix. Netflix is Netflix been like, is they're like, all right, here we go. Well, on point. We'll feed I'm glad the, they got into that business. Yeah, it is good. It is good. It's not just they're, they're getting into every business. Every but like, business. Com- comedy is shining, movies, shining yeah. bright right there. Like Dave Chappelle's shit has been amazing. Fred Armisen's shit we can talk about. I liked we, it. We just watched it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Improv for drummers. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fucking. I <clears throat> and I mentioned it to you. I will. I will say like my biggest uh, weird thing about that. My biggest like complaint is probably it's the, totally not the weird. editing. It's totally relevant. The editing. I don't know if you noticed. I'm. I feel like you would have. The I'm editing is. I was. I was. Oh. I was a little out of it to put it a certain way. Yeah, <laughs> quotations like I was like not in my right mind. Yeah. So on second thought, it might have sucked. <laughs> it might have been. It did no, not I suck. Definitely, it definitely didn't, didn't suck. I was enough in my right mind to know I, this didn't suck, but <laughs> no. I may I may not yeah. have noticed the finer points of the way it was. I will, I will, I will, I will, we will totally we will did, we will talk about our favorite parts and everything. There's great parts. I'm not denying that at all. I loved it. Fred Armisen yes. is awesome. Amazing. But whoever w- was like, I don't know how long it actually was like when it was live but it's it's edited like crazy yeah like, there's a lot i don't out. know if it's just like because of lulls like in between or it's just like it was just so long that they kind of edited it but the way they edited it is so weird it jumps around so much it feels it like they it. chose his biggest like his most prepared bits and i feel like there were probably improv involved oh my god yeah there was yeah there's absolutely awkward improv. Big fucking because you can tell there's like but it's fred armison yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure yeah. like, no, i'm like, sure it was entertaining improv and it was just like they for whatever reason through time or something they they cut around it and they just did the biggest parts that were like obviously prepared like he obviously planned to go through all the drums from the different eras and, that and is go, weird. Yeah. That part's weird. Well, and the, I feel how like, they jump around. Yeah, and like his, his accents through America, which I thought was hilarious. That was oh my, my favorite part. God, yeah. That was my dude. absolute favorite he part. Nailed that so <laughs> it was fun. so yeah, good. It was fucking hilarious. I wasn't expecting him to do the whole country, <laughs> so, but he went through like every region you state can think of, and then state, he like bro. ends it in Mexico, <laughs> and then goes into South America. Like he's doing the. I just thought it was. That it was. was like, it was amazing. I loved it so much. It was really good. But no, there were parts in the fucking in the final cut that were like very tense and awkward and shit. So you can imagine. Yeah, exactly. Felt, like, exactly. You know, like, there were I'm parts saying. that were like, oh, it kind of fell flat. <laughs> it felt to me less like a stand up and more like a performance artist. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, like, also like, like I, I wonder, like his like, whole do thing you guys where he know John where Waters it was actually uh, like performed at. No, I don't know. I think it was in Austin. Like 
Well, like not even like this city, like there had to have been an event going on that was more than just Fred Armisen doing that. Seriously. Like, I yeah. feel like there was more things thing going on where it was or... like drummers were like together for some reason. I like, like there was like too sometime. many drummers together for it just to be to well, see got, hold Fred on, Armisen hold on, <laughs> talking. That, that might be a real... good point because Nam was fucking right around the same time, which is National Association of Music Makers. No, Vietnam. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vietnam was last week. That's funny. Vietnam yeah. is last week. Nam. <laughs> yeah, no. Nam. I, uh, Nam. <laughs> Nam. <laughs> you want to be a Nam? Be a Nam. Um, no, I think that uh, I think that it was like a like a weird performance piece where he was like it wasn't supposed to be all funny like his whole letter to John Waters and like the response back and it's like that's that was just straightforward that was for the most part great, but it was like though, pretty dude. good I thought it was like I, I enjoyed it, the fuck him out just of that. being yeah, like dude, I liked a fucking lot. weirdo yeah was I cool. liked that it was very cool well it also you have to you have to realize like when I first heard um, it was actually from you Mike it, you were like yo Fred Armisen's got this uh, stand up. Uh, improv for drummers and I was like oh dang Fred Arms has got some stand up that's weird like <laughs> yeah, he yeah, hasn't had yeah. stand up you know in a while and like la- last time like not even like stand up like he like started by like doing impressions and like sketch comedy and, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, right, like right. he would do stand up but it would mostly just be impression stuff so I was like just thinking I was like it's probably gonna be something like that and it was but it it was very raw I think I think it, I feel like you're yeah. seeing a little bit more into like how he actually is and his actual interests and like how he like kind of actually identifies himself instead of like well i think he's obviously way more de- developed human by now than, than his yeah, yeah. earlier stuff uh, and, yeah but you know. he's like i feel like it was him being like i play all these characters but like here's like an actual piece of who i mm. am dude raw is a fucking great word to use because i had no fucking clue that that guy even played the drums oh you really all. no idea yeah no I, idea. and i love fred armson yeah like, but I had no clue, and I, didn't I went, know that he I, was so knowledgeable I, about him. Dude. Yeah, that God was damn. what got me was his knowledge. Like, Honestly, like he I played say every he was... kit and shit. Like, he fucking Fred Armisen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't impressive. be like a surprise. Like, if he just picked up any instrument, he's just like, that's that's oh, a good yeah, point. Though. Well, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. and he's just like play it, and he's, he's like, kinda, well, yeah, it's kind of weird. He kind of does that with Kyle Daly. He kind of does that with his comedy. Anything you're like, how did you fucking learn that, dude? Like for real though, that's how he was. with Yeah, he's like, I'm not learning. Put him in every fucking It's an ear. It's an thing like Fred Armisen's Fred Armisen's obviously like if you know anything about music or you play music like you know that he's just like got a fucking good ear yeah like he is that because because he does comedy he does uh he does great fucking character work and mm-hmm. he does great impressions oh and my that God, that's all dude. ear that's all ear that's so true he's yeah. a good musician he just got he's, a fucking fantastic dude, you're right. ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking not impressed. just. I'm not saying just. <laughs> yeah, no. He's got like, more skills than just an ear. Yeah, he's right. got more skills, <laughs> but, but imp- he has imperson- impersonations is all about how you hear that person fucking talk. So exactly. Yeah, you have to have a fucking good ear if you want to make what you say sound like what that fucking person to says. everyone else. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Fucking a. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That's a very important <laughs> yeah. part too. Yeah. It might sound great to you, but it fucking yeah. might sound like shit to someone else. You, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know you have a good ear when it sounds good to you and it sounds good to everyone else. Damn And straight. then you're like, okay, Beautifully maybe I got put. something between these. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a little something on either side Dude, of this head is, here. That is a great fucking point, bro. Because there are a lot of times where I hear something and I'm like, Musically, just something I'm working on musically. I'm like, well, this sounds fat enough, right? Like, there's a good enough fucking range of tone here, yeah. right? And then someone else hears and like, dude, where the fuck is the treble in this shit? Like, where's yeah, the high yeah. end? I'm like, yeah. oh shit, really? Like, it sounds like shit. Or even you? the opposite too. You 100%, 100%. know, you can you can be self doubtful as we all are sometimes, and mm-hmm. you can say, hey, but I think this sounds like, like shit. And then, someone and then someone's it? like, dude, this sounds so cool. How did you do this? Like you did and you were like. Oh, just <laughs> fucking around. Yeah, I thought it was sounding like fucking asshole. This was bullshit. I didn't fucking. I don't even remember. You before. like this? Hey, I couldn't do it again if you asked me to. And the fuck? Why do you like it? <laughs> but somebody could be like, this is a mistake, and I thought it would be buried. But somebody, <laughs> but it's somebody, my biggest hit. It sold more albums than anything I've ever made. Yeah, yeah I meant to do it. I swear. <laughs> I was inspired by the early Pink Floyd. <laughs> For someone Let's else, make some it shit might up be for an interview. Fucking amazing, and you're like, 
well, I just kind of fell upon it. I was just kind mm-hmm. of fucking around. Yeah. But somebody else might be like, dude. And that's what we all that aspire shit, for. Just falling upon fame. No, no. We, we all no. want. I, what I don't is, want to have to oops, work for oops, it. I just want to oops, be famous. Oops, oops, I got a million followers on Instagram and now Whoopsies. I'm getting paid by Ford. Whoopsies. We want people to Whoopsies. identify with our shit, right? <laughs> if it's if it's fucking ten people that pay us a million bucks a piece or whatever. What? Because they're super stoked. Those I ten love people those are people. so goddamn stoked with what we're doing. I need to find those 10 people. Can we find those people? Of course not. They don't exist. If there are 10 of you, (laughs) what I'm saying, 10 of you out there that have access, you don't want to shoot for those 10 people, right? You could just give that. We're like two million dollars. No, that's what I'm saying. Two million dollars. So you can you can hold on to a million. We'll take a million. (laughs) Yeah. Like just share a million. If 10 of you can share a million, we can do this. Listen, Mr. President, I know you've got millions. Can you just give? me a million i love white people all right i like you (laughs) you're white you're white you're the whitest you you are the whitest person i know give me a million dollars please yo steve bannon ain't got shit on you bro thanks george bush oh when are we when are we uh recording this 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 is a 2003 (laughs) the war in iraq just started that's cool. <laughs> Very cool. So happy. <laughs> TRL. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Fucking right. true. All right. So what are, what we're did 35 you... minutes in, and I'm about to bring up two of movies I watched this week that I want to talk about. Two of here. movies. Two, two of it. movies. Two of Before movies. we get into our actual movie, which is going to be, this is going to be a long episode, guys. I'm sorry. Just bear with us. Be yeah, it's going to be a hard time for you. It's, it's going to be, be a hard time for you. It's going to be a long bit of good. I watched the Justice League for the first time. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like um, it. How did I like it? No, no, no. I, I love that movie. I liked it. <coughs> really? I liked it. Okay. Against all odds. And the fact that fucking Henry Cavill's mouth is the most hilarious thing I've seen. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. How? Now, how in in now. what way did you like it? Tell me that. I felt like the end of the movie, when they finally are fighting the villain, felt like watching a fucking Justice League cartoon. And I know that it was probably, it's probably, sh- you, you look at it and you go, that's shitty. But it was so actually well executed as a cartoon that I found it entertaining. I was like, I'm watching like the ultimate version of just like a Justice League cartoon. Huh. Wow. Wow. That's a pretty fucking big compliment, man. Right. Oh, the rest of the movie is well, shit. Well, there also, was the end that really tied it together. Uh, it's kind of well. The end is the, the best gist, part because yeah. that's the part they reshot completely. They reshot a lot of that movie, man. But like, but like the entire end of the film, and was they cut re-shot. a lot of it out. Yeah, the entire end was completely different. Yeah, and um, it felt like a cartoon. Well, also, I, also I the fact that the like, thank you, the fact that like through the entire series. Superman has been like a super bitter, shitty character that you're like, this is Superman. You're like, yeah. what the fuck? This is who Jerry Seinfeld fucking loves. <laughs> like, yeah. there's no way. He's that was my biggest literally issue. Asshole. Superman but was my favorite, end, and Man of Steel was bullshit. At it the was, end, that of, is not my Superman. At the end, it was a tearjerker, though, right? Justice League. Uh, fuck. God no, damn it. Okay, no, so I not, cried in that movie. Whatever. You fuck cried you guys. in what movie? I fucking Man of Steel. A little bit. Okay, <laughs> a little bit. So okay. I identified okay, with one of the fucking scenes in the movie, hey, bro. Hey, I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking. Thank that. you, buddy. I appreciate that, Chase. Yeah. But I, listen, I feel you. Overall, though, you're right. Dog shit movie. Dog I was shit. so angry at the end of Man of Steel because of the way that he did the weird camera shots where they're flying through the city. I mean, this isn't the only reason, but like this part of it, and it was like a video game. It was like Shaking slow down. Camera. He hit him, and then it was like, whoosh, yeah. and it was like whoosh, he'd punch him, and then it would like zoom with them really fast through. The and buildings. that was supposed to be like a fucking cool part. Of it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be. But I, I wouldn't know. Effect. I was asleep. Oh. oh. Damn! See, that's how good it was, huh? I you slept through it. it I was went to nap, players was with my giver. father. Yeah, I was like, God, I, I've never paid eleven fifty for a nap. Take a nap. Right? <laughs> I went to I went to a fucking pool Another bar, one. players with my dad, and drank a pitcher of beer, and then we went to go see that at like ten o'clock at night. So I was half drunk, and you didn't cry. I would have cried. Half drunk. Half. <laughs> <drunk. laughs> 
I would have cried. Pabst I drunk. I would have cried like a little girl. I was Yingling drunk. I cry Ooh, all baby. the time though. I'm about to cry right now, as a matter of fact. Well, that's good. I'm sorry, guys. I'm serious. I just love this stuff. I fucking love you guys so much. I just love you being on the big ass. <laughs> so. Man of Steel, though. Okay, so. My biggest shit. problems with Justice League, the color palette was boring. It was all orange. Um, okay, okay. Let's talk about, um, not even talk about, let me just mention, literally Batflex Cave, his Batcave, is literally just a warehouse. Yeah. With square metal things oh, yeah, that people terrible. sitting are sitting on and are just like, "Yo, what's up? Like, what's the plan, yo?" <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, "Uh, I don't know. We all <laughs> fucking are so powerful, and like, what are we gonna do?" Wait, and it's just Batman, like, you're the only one who doesn't have powers. God like, damn it, what's wait. your power? And he just like, "I'm rich." He like walks in right, another yeah. room at one point, and it's literally just like the same shit, but like has like a red background, and then like he like picks up a drink. I'm so sorry. It's like it's like wow, this is so classy. It literally just looks like a warehouse again. (laughs) Now he's drinking whiskey. Like the fucking Batcave was the worst shit ever. It wasn't cool. It was terrible. It wasn't cool. Well, I haven't seen it, but I like the cartoon. It was kind of generic to me. The whole movie felt like the fucking cartoon. Is that that, 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 Um, because a lot of times the cartoon's good, right? No, I think no. DC DC cartoons are great. DC animation is actually. Spot on. I, Obviously, really I think cool. the cartoon is better than this movie was, but I thought this movie was it like is, it kind is. of an it ours. It ours. <laughs> it ours. <laughs> it ours. It ours. <laughs> yes, it ours, right. matey. That's all right. Um, I felt like it's it was a right choice, boy. This movie was inconsistent with the movies before it. It like it completely shattered the characterizations that have been portrayed so far. It. I mean, it, it changed but, the color palette. But sometimes changed, for like, well, like in Superman, in it ignored Superman's plot case. Details. It changed for the better because Superman yes. literally smiles in the movie, and if you're like, and you're like, oh, that's Superman. Like exactly. everything else that is felt, like that felt the most. Everything like, else, Superman is just like this guy's a fucking dick. Yeah. Like he's yeah. literally is such a sad god bitch. Yeah, <laughs> and like <laughs> Justice League, he like smiles, and then he's like, like hold like that part where. <laughs> Uh, Flash is like saving a bunch of people and then Superman just rides by him with a whole house full of people that he's saving. That was funny. Like that's that was the best part. Great yeah. scene. Yeah. Best part of the movie. Yeah, that's probably the best that part of the movie. Because it's that just like oh is the best ha, ha like that's great. And like Superman's that's doing like a great classic job. Classic fucking Superman. Yeah. Like there's like a joke in it and like I don't know, that's what I didn't love the way they portrayed the Flash, but I liked Ezra Miller as the Flash in this movie as well. Um, I felt more like Spider-Man because the Flash isn't so fucking. Wasn't uh, uh, Aquaman? Was Flash, in? Yeah. Boy. Flash is like Aquaman a comedic okay. guy, but okay. he's like bro- bro- he's... Broquaman. Was <laughs> right. That's what he looks like in the fucking yeah. previews too, for sure. <laughs> Honestly, if anything, like I think uh, the Flash would be more of the bro, but like also like being like <coughs> being like uh, <coughs> kind of a pseudo intelligent. Yeah, the Flash would be and funny, it, like kind of bro. Like they, they played him more like like the the teenage the bro like, boy was, Spider-Man is. Yeah, he's kind of like he's kind of nerdy quippy and like, nerdy but, quippy guy. But like the Flash and all in, in the original stuff is like he's like a scientist. He he has a sense of humor, but he's like and, and he's funny, but he's like a little bit more mature. Yeah, and a little bit more like used times, to the world. You know, most a lot of times. He can be very fucking emotional as well. Like yeah, he he he's a very like interesting character. Yeah, if you really he's a great want to dive character. into it. But they changed him into like a Spider-Man type character, which I was like, eh. But I liked Ezra Miller, and I know Ezra Miller can play a more mature character. So maybe they'll mature him a little bit in the subsequent films. I, I but gotta, anyway, I gotta throw this out there. I just fucking noticed this, but you're wearing a super rad St. Vincent sweatshirt right now. I didn't. Yeah, I just I just thought it was a fucking sweatshirt. I didn't even. Pay attention you thought it was to it a Target until, sweatshirt. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I thought it was just some dumb shit sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> and now I look at it as a fucking <laughs> badass Saint Vincent sweatshirt. Like it is awesome. It's so good, bro. Yeah, I spent way too much money on this at her concert. Of course you did, and it's probably shit material, right? Oh, it feels amazing. No, no, sure. really. Okay, okay, okay really. shit material. You kidding? Come Dude, on, Dude, Normally, girl. when I buy a band shirt, it's like Feel the that. worst fucking cotton ever, and it was twenty dollars. You know? Yeah, where'd you fucking buy your That's band good. shirt, you little bitch? Homie, I listen to bands that nobody else listens <laughs> exactly. to. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Sounds yeah. like they so don't they're have they're getting their money. shit done. Fuck. They're <laughs> the probably doing it by price. hand, dude. They're like doing it themselves, bro. Like, <laughs> no, that would be better. 
<laughs> they're getting right. a fucking factory to make their bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely. It's their record yeah. label. They're like, then they get paid like a thousand dollars a year <laughs> to go tour like seven hundred days. You know, like they have to do two shows in a day. Sometimes they get like seven dollars a fucking. I'm just saying, the bands I listen to, nobody, nobody Mike, fucking listens to the. Stop knocking this. I saw animals as leaders in concert <laughs> once. I'm getting out of control. You're right. Where was it? You Mike's just slapping the for... mic like it's a fucking <laughs> prostitute. Yeah, we're not slapping a porn not star's a, pussy. Not even a high-end prostitute. A really dirt cheap one. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, he's smacking her a lot. Like a high-end prostitutes, he smacks up a good bit, but a couple times, and it's because and it's because they ask. The lowest you to. in prostitute just yeah, killed. They're like, right? "What are you a fucking pussy? Will you please smack me." And you're in the like, face? Oh, Jesus Christ! I gotta smack you just to prove myself." <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> I thought we were gonna keep this classy, lady. Jeez. <laughs> Like God, I'm just trying to fucking. I'm paying a lot of money for this. Like, Do I have just to an hour of my you? life? <laughs> you gotta make it so bad. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a fucking, like a I don't know, rant or whatever. Doing? Ray, for whatever reason, I've met some people who are like way camp Android or you know whatever the fuck way anti Apple tribal, t- fucking tribal bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I just have to explain to them, from a music pres- position, you can't beat Apple. There's just no fucking way around it. I've What's fucking, that about? I've studied music for four years in school, and I had to use Apple products all the time. I can't even imagine how difficult some of the shit would have been using fucking Mac, or excuse me, uh, uh, Windows. 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 I, I swear on everything. Auditions The way okay that, it's, that it's set up, Logic and fucking GarageBand, GarageBand, you don't even have to be a musician. Like, you can be the fucking most musically inept human being on earth and still fucking create some shit mm-hmm. on garage man yeah. it's just so fucking easy dude there to me there's just i i think you're right i think i think there's music no comparison on, the, nothing on pc compares to like you Apple's can't music even program. it's but, it's there's but their fruit but they used to be the fucking standard for video editing and now they fucking are suck. awful i agree with that i agree gotta with have that. a pc yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i agree. yeah yeah ever since bill gates died <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, actually, the other one ass did. Wipe. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> fucking ass wipe. Jeez, what a schmuck. Yeah. You're right though. You're, you're right. On your fucking phone, you can even you can even identify with that. Like you're like, wow. Um, editing just simple video on my phone is way harder now. Why is that? Like it used yeah. to be flawless. It used to be flawless. Flawless, dude. That's my biggest Fall. my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> well, that and like now that Apple's assigning their products to like fucking fail. Dude, they've gone they've gone down fast. What the fuck? One guy dies and they that's fucking how I, go to I, shit. That's how I like him to go down. <laughs> Fast. Fast and hard. One guy dies and yep. they go to shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, what has happened? Like, oh, yeah, let's start having more trippy ideas now. Hey, let's let's, let's like backpedal. Let's, <laughs> let's release. <laughs> let's what? How, which came, which came first, the iPhone eight or the iPhone ten? What are they doing with that? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> They're destroying our phones with malware through updates. They're pieces of shit. Fuck capitalism, man. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, so they skip the nine. Everyone's like, wonder where's the nine? There's literally, there's literally a fucking sketch. I, I can't. Remember. It's on some improv podcast that I listen to that I mentioned because I don't. I listen to a lot. I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> but they talk about the iPhone 9 and how they didn't release it. And they talk about like how it's just like they went back to the flip phone. And everyone's like, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't think, like, I don't think that's right. I don't think you guys should do it. It's like the iPhone flip phone yeah. is the 9. It's just like a razor. It's like, oh, dude. It's vintage, it's like, bro. Well, it's vintage. We'll release the 8 and the X. This 9, though. We're getting We were... We're... Re- trying to release three phones in the spring, but <laughs> ah, this one's not going to do. It's not going to work, guys. It's not. Small, shitty. We're, we're leaving it up to Elon Musk. He seems to be doing good. Mm-hmm. He's doing, stuff. He's, so, doing yeah. he's doing awesome. He's doing, he'll buy, he'll so buy a phone and he'll awesome launch one shit. phone into space, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for us Buy to a see. phone and we'll launch one phone into space for aliens to communicate. <laughs> It'll already have a dial dude, number. Dude, he's sending up satellites. <laughs> he sent up satellites today. A dial number is he what I said. I'm in a number dialed. If, <laughs> if, 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 if
if it's successful, he's Forget. setting up a global broadband network. That is amazing. I'm Damn, like, dude. dude, I hope he succeeds. I want global broadband. Because <laughs> come on. Why the fuck not? Everybody Oof. in the world. Realistically, why yeah. not? Yeah. Why not? He's doing it. He's like, why not? We're going to do it. The Boring Company? That is amazing to <laughs> that's me. That's so funny. That is so fucking good to me, bro. Yeah. He's the the flamethrowers thing? Come on. This yeah. is a movie yeah. podcast we're doing right now. Jokes. Let, us, let us tap into that real <laughs> yeah. quick. Fucking the tap, boring company. The boring company, the flamethrower. It's amazing. It's amazing. So good. He sold like twenty thousand of them. Mm. I know. He's sold a ton <laughs> for five hundred bucks a pop. So successful. <laughs> Can you fucking like imagine he's gonna what do he's this talking thing. about? Like he's, he's gonna do he's this. He's talking about like tunnels. Go- there's, like, there's no. There's no like. There's no. Uh, Exceed like I don't hear I don't know what exactly he said. He's like, there's no limit to like how deep you can go there within isn't. the earth. There like, isn't. They've you, tried. You, Russians well, we have can tried. have 30, 30 stories of tunnels just under the earth for transportation. Yes. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like, what the Whoa. fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome. Hold because on. he talks. So the, it's the TED talks that so, this guy, the interviewer. Is like, uh, well, no, it's not TED Talks. Something else, because TED Talks is just him talking. Maybe not. I don't fucking remember. This guy, right, is Talk like, about. well, Talk why about. don't like, uh, why don't we go in the air, like well, hover cars and stuff? And he's like, well, how hard is it to fucking regulate you, the air? Can you can you imagine uh, no something clue. being above you? I don't think that makes uh, Any fucking anything. Sense. I don't think that it makes our lives any less stressful. <laughs> I think it makes it a, a lot more stressful. Yeah. That it's just like everything is above us, flying around. And if someone hasn't gotten maintenance on their vehicle, <laughs> it's gonna fall on your that ass. It's gonna yeah. fucking yeah, straight fall out of the up. sky. And, and let's be honest, none of us are good at maintaining our vehicles <laughs> exactly. in America. In America, yeah. we're yeah. piss no poor. Fucking way. We're piss poor. Yeah. So what we need is fucking bitchin' ass public transportation that makes the fucking... Dude, can you imagine speed rails that go underneath the Earth's... Like, they go into the Earth's crust, and you just go from America to the China. China, and, like, you do it, They're, like... That that listen, be listen, hours. it's even it's even more so... Yeah, it's, it's so it does, you don't You're even have like to... You're like, a thousand that's, miles an that's hour. That's possible to it's, happen in the future. Oh, okay, that's, I fucking... But, like, how deep... How... Like... Can you imagine the the equation to go into doing a project like that with the depth of the ocean? No, that no. would be the hardest part because it's like how far down do you have? We're getting to off go? the railroad tracks, but I'm going to tell you how it fucking works. <laughs> this is how it works. I got Get into off the this, Tesla I, tracks. I got in this shit <laughs> years and fucking years ago, dude. Years and years and years ago. But what you do is fucking magnetized railways. Right? Oh, true. You true, can true, fucking true, make true, 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 incredibly true. high speed shit with magnets, bro. Yeah, true, and you true, can true, fucking true. send that shit across the fucking ocean for not a whole lot of resources. Look, dude, if we wanted to do shit, we'd stop fucking making bombs, right? Uh, and we'll, we'll, I'm, we're, I not know, gonna, I we're not going to get into this shit, we, but we, Eisenhower <laughs> said. We can get into the defense budget, bro. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> Eisenhower said, for every bomb created, it's a fucking, it's, you know, food out of the mouth of a fucking starving person and yada, yada, yada. So if we fucking wanted to, fuck yeah, bro. We could get to China in two and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, from, that, from LA. I can't, I can't wait. Like, nuts. Like, like, can't wait to get to China. If we, if we if we don't want to though, we don't. Hong Kong really is the center to. of the world right now, my friends. No, the North Pole is Damn, the center. The dude. North Pole is the center like of the world Earth and of the universe. Here, <laughs> Everybody knows that the world is flat and, and the dome cuts off in Antarctica. Bro, and, if you go, and, and it's if, all fake it's when they go to space, shelf, man. Bro. It's all Photoshop bullshit. Dude, you know the wall from fucking Game of Thrones is real. It's invisible and it covers the earth like a dome and it has a hologram that shows the sky. It is all fake. God damn it. I mean hologram so crackers. Bro. A hologram that shows the sky, please tell. No, that's God, actual that's so flat earther bullshit. I, I believe it. That's I so actual believe it. factual. You can't do you I have fucking... my uncle's a flat earther. I've heard the a fucking good friend of mine. Oh, a good friend of mine is a good friend of mine. His, is a his uncle flat-earther. is probably someone we need to have on the podcast. For yeah, real. I do not horrible. even want to begin <laughs> <laughs> to have that conversation. You're, you're like, no, 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 no. He's not that kind of 
lost to me. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have to watch the worst film ever. We just we watch, watch. We just watch. We watch Cos- any movie. Some Cosby shit and no, then talk about the, it. The thing with him, he has the best taste in movies. But the minute you get him talking, he's the most insane human being on planet Earth. Not true. But I can't remember what I was watching. Enough. I was watching uh, gotcha, gotcha. something about uh, space travel with him. Um, it was like what, what's a famous person's name? It was like blah 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 goes to the goes to Mars. <laughs> I can't remember mm-hmm. the fuck it was. It was something ridiculous. Um, I guarantee you, it's super famous, and like, there's probably people listening to this. Like, it's probably that. Like, yeah, I, I think exactly I know what he's what talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I came over to your house, and you were just like, went to the store. You know, you're you came back like ten minutes later, but I was just there chilling with your uncle. Oh, when we were. Was this recently? It was. Uh, it was back at your house in uh, the Cove. This was like three years ago. Probably like three years ago. Yeah, after maybe, college, post maybe, college. Maybe, maybe less. Maybe less. Honestly, two years ago, I moved. <laughs> I moved out here. In, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was in the last two or three years. Whenever, whenever your uncle was living with you guys. Okay, in the last two or three. Years. That's that's when it was, and. Uh, he was saying a bunch of interesting shit about the film, just telling me. It was Robinson Crusoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. He loves that movie. Yeah. That's totally what it was. And, uh... It's fantastic, everything he was saying. And then, like, every once in a while, he'd just make this fucking dirty-ass joke. He was dirty. <laughs> about, like, something that I just, like, did not, like... He, like, very... It pertained to what was going on in the film, like, very loosely, which is good comedy. It it was great comedy, but it was so dirty that it was just like, oh, my God. He's like, holy fucking shit. He's so dirty, and there's parts, there's times where I'm like, that's hilarious, but he's saying it in front of my mother. (laughs) In front of Jordan. Yeah, in front yes. Of, it's like the yeah, entire you're like, family. You're like, and you're like, I can't laugh at this in, like right, right now. It's like, I that's can't. funny, but if I laugh, the rest of the room thinks I'm a sexist piece of shit. Yeah. And I'm not <laughs> yeah. like doing that. I'm not. I am not giving you this. Yeah. And you are going to be... Shun. You're gonna laugh by yourself, <laughs> and I have to shun. I have Everyone's to shun you. shunning you. You right. can say that in fucking private. It would be funny, but you are not not appropriate timing. Not appropriate timing. That happens a few times. He it, also it's the source too. If he was like a good looking guy, you'd be like, oh, that's 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 funny. But I don't he, think so. He, I disagree. Like, I don't know. I disagree. I disagree with the good good looking guy concept. I mean, he's a good looking guy. He's just like let himself go a little bit. <clears throat> I disagree. <laughs> again, <laughs> again, I disagree. All right. We have different opinions about my uncle. <laughs> He's a very fantastic man. And oh, I, I love him to death. I love him. And I would take a bullet for a joke. <laughs> as long as when I took the bullet for him to live, he came up to me and muttered a, hilarious terrible joke in my ear uh, as my last dying breath was entering exiting my body just tells you the the most like heinously and then i go sexual oh, oh. and i laugh and just die <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone just you know Goes by the day. Now's a good time. Yeah, well, I mean, you all know how I'm gonna have my funeral. I'm basing it on that Daniel Tosh. You're right. I, I, we all know how you're gonna have your funeral. Have my body cremated. We actually from the haven't now. talked about this before. <laughs> <laughs> this has never come up. No, if you remember that Daniel Tosh joke where he's like, at my funeral, you're gonna cremate me from the neck down, and then you have to hold my head when you're giving a speech, and then Karch Cry comes in. He's like, the fuck? <laughs> Very cool. And I was like, that is that's, morbid that's shit, the best. Bro. That's the best funeral idea. Yeah, ever. you guys he, know who Gigi Allen is? is? Absolutely. Yeah. Micro penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huge guy, micro penis. I just think Chinese of digger. shit and micro penis. You nailed it. And nailed you know, it. You know, that's Gigi little, Allen. A little bit of punk rock mixed with some fucking. <laughs> right, mixed with some uh, Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> so accurate, dude. That is fucking anyway, let's move on. Dead hey, right. Mike, wait, have wait, you... Wait, no, I didn't finish. <laughs> didn't finish. We didn't talk about the death of Stalin. 
Oh, The Death of Stalin, which I have not seen. But you have That's a movie? Is that us, a movie? Let it us is hear. a movie. It is amazing. It is social commentary about Russia at the death of Stalin. It's pretty much fucking exactly what happened after I looked it up to my great, un, you know, chagrin. Uncom- yeah, chagrin. <laughs> it made me very uncomfortable to realize how fucking crazy that period of time in Russia Unbelievable, was. dude. Yeah. Um, made me very uncomfortable the way the movie depicted it, despite being comedy. Very that well whole made. Fucking era, really crazy. Dude. Dark as fucking fuck. Super good. <laughs> uh, Michael Palin's amazing. Oh, so is Steve Buscemi. Palin. Steve Holy Buscemi fucking fuck. killed it. That's awesome. Good. I love Steve Buscemi. I don't think he's done anything uh, super Steve Buscemi in a while. This is yeah. the best thing I've seen seen him do since Boardwalk Empire. For sure, if not better. Mm. I don't know. He's great. He plays Khrushchev. He fucking stages the coup d'etat. And like, you know, it's great. Jeffrey Buscemi's Tambor is, yeah, is Gregory Gregory Molotov. This guy's speaking English over here. What the fuck? I don't know. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> Russian, though. It's, it's fucking good. Russian. Uh, this guy's talking about coup d'etat. <laughs> coup d'etat? Like coup de matare. Is that like a tater tot? It's about Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther man. <laughs> no, you guys should watch the movie. It's fucking awesome. I will absolutely read, want to. Then read the history. I will absolutely you want, want to. to. You will absolutely want to. It, it, it's only midnight. Let's watch it after the recording. <laughs> yeah, we got time, bro. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> With that, man. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Mike, <laughs> Mike, have you watched anything, anything at all that uh, you loved? I did. Uh, I was thinking about it. I was racking my brain while you guys were talking about it because, uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm not fucking huge into movies and TV shows and that kind of shit. But I did watch our cartoon president, the first fucking episode of that. Not seen that. Our cartoon president. Our cartoon president. That's what I added to my fucking Instagram story the other day. <laughs> It's it was really fucking hilarious, dude. Like, the I'll animation's very good. It's and on Showtime that... and stuff. So okay, like, okay, I think that's okay. why it's not, it hasn't picked up a whole lot of steam. But you, it's like you also said you watched fake news on Comedy Central, right? Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit was fucking good. Wait, that's a show. Shit. That shit was so fucking good. Uh, as a matter I don't of fact, even know about it. It's funny you said that because uh, 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 you were talking about Bill Hader, uh, Heater. How do you say his Bill name? Hader. Bill Hader. Hader. Thank you. Uh, so I fucking I couldn't remember who the fuck that was. Um, the guy who does fake news is uh, the dude Andy. I think his character's name Sam was from the Office. Oh. His character was Ed Andy in Ed Helms. Helms. Yeah, there you go. Ed Helms. Helms. Yeah, yeah. Full, full circle, full circle, baby. Boom. Full circle. Boom. Yeah, yeah. So he's the guy who does fake news on Comedy Central. Really? It's fucking solid, bro. Like, what is it? What is it necessarily? Is it like political? It is. Kind it of? is to me. What it reminded me of was like how Stephen Colbert. Just did Bill O'Reilly to the Bill O'Reillyist. Yeah. Right? So it's this guy doing like CNN to the CNNist. Okay. Like, so it's like just bullshit fucking like person on so it's, after it, it's and live like action? he interrupts them <laughs> yeah yeah okay, it's, cool. yeah so it's it's not it's boxed right so it's like fucking they they did it at yeah, some, yeah, 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 yeah. But one it's, time but in the uh, day but it's supposed but it's to not be, a cartoon right right exactly so it, it is fucking hilarious though bro like i can't you know remember anything verbatim off the top of my head yeah, because yeah. it was super i mean heard of like it. A fucking, i'm, I'm it about it i like love a, Colbert True Report is amazing. So, hundred percent. And it was anything like that. Daily Show, Colbert Show. Wait, who? Uh, who Colbert who's, Report. Who's hosting this fake news? Uh, what is this? Ed Helms. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's, Ed Helms. Uh, is just the other doing one we else. said. What was the other name we fucking? I'm Bill Hader. Forward. No, damn it. Maybe it's Ed the other Helms? way around. Ed Helms. I, I think, think it's, it's Ed, Ed Helms. Helms is the one that that is doing this one. Uh, he's the guy from The Hangover that gets the fucking yeah, yeah, face yeah, tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we right. Talking, so yeah, yeah. It's the full it's, circle guy. Yes, yes. It's. I'm sorry, I zoned out for a second. I did not mean to. I'm going to apologize okay. to you right right now. We're a couple de- drinks deep. I we're, didn't we're even several. fucking. We're several. I didn't even almost get that out of my mouth, bro. I'm glad. I just, even, glad uh, it, it, I'm I just glad looked it, it up, and it says the the fake news with Ted Nelms. <laughs> Ted Nelms. Are you serious? 
<laughs> but it's, it's so good, bro. That's it is hilarious. so fucking good. I'm telling you. I texted. I'm I had a text, dude. That. I had to text Alan last night. Like, yo, I'm fucking watching. He this literally, shit. he literally texted me, woke me up from my beautiful ass slumber. I'm just kidding. That was fine. <laughs> he texted me. I was already up. And he said, yo, you, you gotta watch this show, fake news. I'm watching this and it's make, it's killing me right now. I was now. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was just like, have you seen fake? I read this like, text. I was just like, Jesus Christ, man! I'm trying to fucking. That one's really good. And then um, the <laughs> first season, the first season of um, uh, our yeah. cartoon president was fucking was solid, dude. Like there were parts of in it in it that I felt were like a little more filler or whatever, like just kind of drawn. But again, it's done by Stephen Colbert, so like. It's fucking, it's spot on, dude. It's very accurate as far as like I what's didn't know going it was on. Him. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. one of the first names you see is fucking uh, created by Stephen Colbert and huh, that's written awesome. by Stephen. I know, I know. I it's know, totally amazing. slipped my radar too. And I'm a Stephen Colbert fan. Like I have yeah, a couple yeah. of his yeah, books, same. bro. Like, oh I'm yeah, I'm American and so can you. Is so one good. of my favorite so books. Good. <laughs> I haven't read either. Dude, of them. he, oh, dude, he amazing. fucking puts this this letter that he wrote to his grandpa when he's like seven in it, and it's. As if he wrote it today. It's insane, bro. Like, hit the seven-year-old Stephen Colbert, 100% identical to Stephen Colbert today. That's awesome. Which is fucking amazing because Stephen Colbert kind of acts like a seven-year-old sometimes. It's yeah. great, dude. But he's like, like yeah. Harvard dude. educated. Mostly on Colbert Report. Harvard educated is so... <laughs> fuck, dude, do you remember... Uh, did you watch the Colbert Report? Yeah, of course. Did you I remember when he Report. used to do fucking Better Know a District? Mm, that yes. was one of the best fucking... Like, dude, it was so genius. They need to release a box set of that whole... Yeah, box. dude, because there was a lot of them, bro. The Colbert like Report is one of the yeah, best yeah, yeah, yeah. shows, dude. It was like, so, so the, solid. One of the best fucking late Do you remember what he... Ever, ever, okay, right? he yeah. used to... so fucking He used amazing. to have this thing, the Colbert bump, right? Because there would be, like, an artist that would come on the Colbert Report yeah. and then get huge after him. Mm -hmm. he, was, he would call it the Colbert bump. And it was a total thing but like also how, like thing. my favorite thing about that entire show is how he would treat guests no matter how much he respected them in real life or not you know like he would literally be like walk all over right. him yeah and he would just like, walk <laughs> well, all over him my <laughs> show like kind of fucking attitude yeah. and also like Bill O'Reilly and his Bill O'Reilly every time he would like go meet a guest he's like alright guys we got a guest and he'd run from his <laughs> desk to the other side and he would like, just like Put his hands up and like pump the crowd. Yeah, yeah I loved like all his imagery. It was like all the eagle. Like, he oh knew my god, the, on, the eagle! The, the, and, like, the intro the, of the show is amazing. Yeah, uh, he was. He knew exactly <laughs> what he was fucking doing. That show was awesome. Right, right. Like, that was so. It was so well intended. Like, <laughs> oh, it was perfect. There was a, there was an episode where he talked about like how you know the intro. It's like it's just so. Like overdone. It's like him grabbing yeah. the oh, American I, I, flag. Absolutely and he no. I, I, it. I literally watched that episode coming down off of acid. Oh, oh, oh! I did that with you. Yes, that yes. was insane. Yes, at Kyle's, at Kyle's, yeah, at Kyle's in Tampa. House. After watch, we watched the wall. After we watched the wall, oh, we watched Kyle. that episode. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that is, insane. Yeah, that's exactly what came on it the was TV. The craziest. Episode. How we were like, we were, the intro. Yeah, and he's like, and I'm fucking. <laughs> Jumping down a tunnel of justice, justice <laughs> and like all this shit. I'm holding the American flag and I stab it into the royal ground. Like he's like saying so. all this shit. That you're just like, oh my god. And we we were literally just saw Roger Waters the wall. Dude, the wall, like the best theatrical performance I've ever seen. Like mm. it was everything I've ever wanted. It was awesome. <laughs> it's the highlight. And, and you know, and then we were watching Colbert yeah, Report so far, damn sitting right, on a dude. couch. Yeah. yeah I, Beautiful time, honestly. Mm. It was great. I loved it so much. It so I mean, how do you funny. how best to follow up the wall then with Stephen Colbert? We went, <laughs> shit. We went to that fucking That's crazy beautiful. ass place on the rocks and smoked pot. <laughs> T.O.P. baby. T.O.P. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know where Kyle took us. I have no idea how to get to that place in Tampa, but we, yeah. But yeah, God we had, damn, we was it all scenery. It was, it was, it was goddamn beautiful. amazing. It's the first time I ever really heard Radiohead. I'd listened to Radiohead before, but the first time I heard Radiohead was driving down Tampa with the convertible top down on acid, just having salt in the wall, passing the fucking the skyscrapers while Idiotech played, and the skyscrapers are passing to the fucking beat. Mm. And I'm just like, I've... Never appreciate it was like, this music more. Oh my god, I'm so Chase, fucking high. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you why I can appreciate that. Laughing till my head comes off. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I can appreciate the shit out of that, dude. Not a lot of people can fucking understand what you're saying. There's a difference between hearing Radiohead and fucking like experiencing that shit, right? It's amazing. In Rainbows, like I'm not even kidding. Amazing. Two, maybe two days after In Rainbows came out, my homie Matt and I tripped an eighth and a half of fucking mushrooms each and here's why. We we got an eighth for me, an we'll, eighth we'll, for Matt. We'll, we'll edit that out. Whatever. <laughs> We don't have to. We can talk about our drug use. It could be any fucking guy. We don't do drugs anymore. We are, of course he is. Of course he is. By mushrooms, I meant we were really high on praising the Lord. We had just praised the Lord so much that we had experienced this natural high from God. (laughs) It was delivered. Part of nature. <laughs> given to me. From these shiitake oh, mushrooms. Can we, can we uh, cuss and talk about drugs on the podcast? Back at it. I so think so. Can we, can we cuss, talk, drink, and experience <laughs> drug abuse in the middle of this podcast? Like, can we rabe each other in this podcast? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. Just kidding. It's just um, kidding. It's irrelevant. Sorry, we that need was to go to commercial bad. break so that we can abuse drugs. Then we'll get back onto the podcast, right? We, we don't not at all. Continue breaks. your story. So me and the homie bro. Brody, right. We continue through. We got three eighths of fucking good ass fucking uh, what is it? Gold cap blue stems. Fucking the blue other way stems? around. Is it the other way I have around? No clue. Fucking blue? gold, gold blue. No clue. I think it's gold. No cap clue. Blue. blue stems. I think that's how it was. <laughs> gold cap for good. sure. So we got an eighth for you got a blue us cap. each, and then an eighth for <laughs> our fucking homie. Cap. Right. The homie fucking bailed out, so we we're like, whoa. We're not gonna fucking waste this other eighth of mushrooms. We're gonna split it. Yeah, and it's not like we're gonna it. do it later, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Whoa. No, we decided to fucking split that shit and do yeah. it right then, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> yup. Know what I'm saying? At, at any fucking rate, we fucking do this batch of mushrooms and bump Radiohead and Rainbows. This bitch had just came out, like I said, fucking Fuck couple yeah. days yeah. beforehand. Holy I can't believe you did that. Christ, brother. That's awesome. That's pretty much all we listened That's to amazing. the entire trip. Like eight hour, mm-hmm. nine hour trip. Yeah. And oh, it I, didn't I, get old. It didn't fucking totally, get old. Dude. Totally feel you on that. That Holy album's shit. I, I, I had dude. a similar Holy experience. Shit. Like you just kind of album coming out, tripping kind of thing. Which with um, when Daft Punk came out with their new dude, um, Random Access Memories. I love that. I haven't album. even listened to it. Oh, I it's, love it's fantastic. That album. But like, obviously, I. Honestly, it's got some wish like, that I had yours. I wish that I had and then Rainbow's one. I <laughs> but Random I Access Memories, into when, it, when it came it was... out, when it came out, I uh, was living in Orlando at this lake house, and our neighbors were super cool. We always hung out with them, and they invited me over, and we just kind of took some acid, and they had uh, surround sound in their entire house. Mm-hmm. So you would put on That's music. Man. You put on God. music, and you could walk through the whole house and hear it all. You'd hear it all. That's amazing. So we were just, know, we yeah. took acid and we were just <laughs> chilling. <laughs> That's and, the thing. And yeah. we That's listened the to the whole album. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. That album's so good. Like it really is so good. It was like four days after it came out or something. Dude, I love the song "Touch" with Paul Williams. Yeah, it's, it's so great. Good. It's really so good. I, good. I like the. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It, it sounds like a song that's. I I feel like driving is in the title or something. Cause it's like, dun 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 dun, dun. <laughs> driving through mountains and it's paradise <laughs> and it's crystal clear. It's not one of the Pharrell. I don't Williams ever songs. wanna be there. Yeah, I think it's one of the Pharrell. I think songs. it is. Yeah. I think it His is. songs too. are groovy. It's towards. It's so good. Really good. And it On makes me feel amazing. Specifically, yeah. we we listened to that. We had a good time. Smoked some volcano vapes. Fucking. Oh. Went jet skiing at like 5 
a.m. when the sun was <laughs> just rising. Oh, we lived on the lake. Fuck you. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck you, man. Hey, when jet skiing. Yeah. We're, we're, come when, on. We went jet skiing. Can you just leave that part out so me and Chase are No, have no, no. It was, it. it was amazing. I know what that talk. house looks like. I know what that lake was like. That's beautiful, and I hate you for it. It was literally <laughs> glass. Justified. Yeah, fuck Justified. You. At five... Five five thirty. I don't know when the fuck. Like it was. you could see God's was, reflection was, in the water. It was, the it was sun beautiful. was yeah. just coming up, yeah. like barely beautiful Orlando and, you know, sunrise. It's like when the sun mm. is coming up, it Auto takes Lake. fifteen minutes for it to like really like it get bright. It's get it gets bright quick. So it's know? darkest before the dawn. Shout out to Florence and the Machine and uh, <laughs> shout out Harvey. Dan. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> fucking tattooed on my cock actually. Oh. <laughs> Legendary. Cock tattoo. Gross. It is cool. It's a poem that, uh, <laughs> that I put on my cock. It looks because, like just random letters. Because I'm an ass. When I'm flaccid. <laughs> and once I pop a boner, it's a long, lengthy, probably five sentence poem. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when I'm flaccid, it just looks like a couple of words or a couple of letters. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just All right, so tonight we watched a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Going from sexuality, to jumping into our movie. How about that? I think so. I love it. I love Fine. it. Fine. <laughs> right. Okay, it's been a long yeah. time. We've talked to you about bullshit. <laughs> but I think the bullshit's probably more enjoyable than us talking about this movie. <laughs> I don't know. This movie's pretty fucking this crazy. It is pretty fucking, fucking crazy. Dope, I do this think is so. so dope, dude. But, um... Jesus Christ! Yes. Okay. Let's start off. This is the, we watched Satyricon, Fellini's Satyricon, Fellini's that is the inner god. Who's apparently a fucking legend, right? Fellini is a legend. Yeah, he's a, a legend. And he never he really exists. I stead. I have read his biography. I have watched almost all of his movies. I will be your guide. You got a huge fucking Fellini poster in there. I do. What is it? What Roma. Is it? You're wearing Roma. a you're wearing a big chef's hat that says <laughs> no, Fellini. number one Fellini fan for some reason. I don't know why. I I just noticed it actually. I, I've been I've been wearing it for years, and I can't believe I just noticed it just it happened after um, talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself. Let's I know more the, about the Italian Miller. wizard. <laughs> I know about, more about Middle Earth in Italian cinema from 1947 <laughs> to, ni- to 1982. You look you like do. someone from a Russian Pixar movie. That's what I am. That's what I am. They, they call me Stanislaw Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Russian fucking. That <laughs> is a good name. <laughs> that really was. We're going to have to go back to that. We're totally going to go back to that. It'd Stanislaw, great... Mr. Stanislaw. Back to Russia? <laughs> no, that fucking name, bro. We're going to have to revisit that name. All right, well, hopefully someone wrote it down. Anyway. <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can fucking rewind and listen to it again. Personally, I could, but I... I, <laughs> I got, I got to stop going on. Okay. Incorporate. <laughs> Satirica. Incorpio. Okay, so there's a lot of names, there's a lot of faces, there's a lot of beautiful bodies in this film. A lot, a lot. Of, a lot of fucking so beautiful lots of gorgeous bodies. shots in this film. I don't know where to start. How about the beginning? Let's start at the beginning. Let's I the love beginning. the beginning. I love how it starts on the fucking wall, and it looks like just like a fucking wall with graffiti on it and shit, and then it just cuts to his face, and he's just like in the middle of like this dramatic blasting like, moment that's like obviously the middle of some story where he and he's just <clears throat> ranting and i love how it's just like it's like tight on his head and just falls him against this like gen- yeah. generic but like not generic wall and he's just talking about like wh- whore boys <laughs> yeah he's like his, his <laughs> like, love guitar yeah you're trying and, to like, figure out he's what been whore swind- boys he's talking about though <laughs> he's been swindled by a shield though and he has to win back his boy love and like yeah, yeah. and it's like and it's, it's but it's, like the way it's presented to me is so epic like it just oh like starts God. off and it's just like epic. he's screaming he's like it is, fucking it is. Screaming. it's like a play it's like an old play where he's just like I, 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 I'm not going to reenact it, but like the delivery is just so like yeah. grandiose. Pretty much and the whole like, film before over, before you even like really get into it. Like at least for me, I was literally like, okay, is this 
really happening or is this like huge like are they gonna break in a second and like this is all just like been them performing arts like, right yeah, yeah <laughs> like i'm yeah, just like kind of, though, is this yeah, just theater but it is theater it's, it's theater totally theater but, like inside yeah. of the movie but yeah. like you, and they literally go to not soon after the beginning of this movie to an actual to a theater, theater where, where actors are doing some sort yeah, of like a very dramatic actor play. who is farting. <laughs> yeah. Fart, yeah. He's farting, but they're also and the cutting people are like, "Yay!" Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They're like, there, there's so much violence associated with the entertainment, but as well, it's just like fart jokes, which is hilarious. So, but it like I, so he he's mentioning at the very beginning of the movie, um, this guy and Copio, on Copio, on Copio is this blonde headed. Ninny, who looks very good. Oh, everyone looks so good in this film. Blah, 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 blah. Except for the fat people. Who they look, look beautiful. Very too. fat, and they look. They got strong eyebrows, and they're pretty Big good tits. too. Big I, I actually <laughs> like all people in this movie. Um, you have the fatties. You have the fucking skinnies. You Ripped. have you have the the freaks, the, the boy freaks. ladies, like you're like. Oh, yeah, the lady, ma- the lady boys. Yep, yep. And you're just like, worship wowie, the worship. Zowie, there's a literal, baby. There's a literal hermaphrodite with genitalia shown. And yeah. it's beautiful. It's pretty nuts. It's it was, pretty nuts. The way it's presented it to you, you're like, that is super tasteful. Be, yeah, that was so good. Literally, <laughs> literally, uh, when they introduce, um, what's his name? Gaitan? Gaitan? Gaitan. 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 The the slave. Yeah. The 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 slave boy, like in the beginning, that he's like wailing about. And then. uh, He loves and he's like the most androgynous. He gets him back from the famous actor. What does androgynous mean? I'm dumb. Um, it's kind of like David Bowie was androgynous. It's like a a man or woman that looks like either gender. Goes goes either way. Yeah. yeah, You can look at them and be like, that's a man or a woman. Okay. uh, And they they look good. In my notes. I, yeah, no argument I, there. I literally, Holy shit, that was a good looking person. All I yeah. wrote about him was that he was sold to Vernaccio, Vernaccio. Who, is, who is the famous actor. He was the right? actor. Who was the and one then, wearing And then I put blue. parentheses, fuckable. <laughs> because 100%. because if there's a man that I'm going to fuck, it's going to look like that. No that doubt. guy was lady looking. I would fuck that guy. No doubt. I, I was thinking that's, that. I every think time that, I've seen this movie, I'm I like, think, I think that's the first that guy. Well. I think that's the first guy that I've seen that I was like, come on, you've seen Brad of, Pitt, dude? No, Did you no, see no, no, Troy? No, no, no. Not the same it's thing. So not the same thing. He was so feminine. He had the, this look in his eyes like, that was like mischievous. Like, just like, it was like, like, it was shit, like looking no at a mischievous no girl where you're like, oh, I want to fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dirty. You're dirty. Like, yeah. You're a dirty you, little you, bitch. Yeah, no, yeah. You're, no, no, no. I don't think like, that's the feeling like that a, I got, actually. No, I'm not going to agree with what I got. That is the look he's putting off. He's got the little, he's got the Marilyn Monroe thing. He's a little fucking, like, little mole on his He looks a little, he looks a little intense for sure. Like, he looks like he's got shit But he keeps doing this, like, looking under his Playful, and like coy. He's like coy, and like, right? and yeah. like all of us Barely. guys right now would fuck that guy. So, no doubt about uh, it. It's you a need to watch them. If you're being you, no like doubt. all weird, like oh my god, I want to listen to these guys talk about fucking guys. And then you, calm down. If you okay? can put Relax. your fu- if you're fucking, if you're <laughs> fucking, saying, it, it doesn't even matter. It if doesn't we're straight. even matter. <laughs> it doesn't. And then you better be fucking. And then if you're able okay to, with yourself, <laughs> fuck <laughs> you. Put yourself in the mindset of a fucking Roman at the time. You'd be like. Fucking duh! Well, I would fucking put nail myself that. in the mindset you know? of me. That's totally right part now. of the movie. <laughs> it doesn't even fucking matter. That's totally part of the movie, though. It's like if that, I saw a dude that, that hot, I'd be like, "Let's go." That you and me now, <laughs> now, now. You're beautiful. Right now, you're well, beautiful. That <laughs> that character is it's only a matter of time, were, baby. <laughs> that character's traits were va- swoon you either way. <laughs> they were valuable to everybody in that society, like, and that's how the movie portrays it. Like. It's good casting. It was tasteful as shit. It's, it's ta- Cause like that's how they treated most of the that. casting, like with with the The visual casting just is like amazing. for this movie that is supposed to be I don't know if I've ever spo- seen spo- shit sh- like that. Supposed to be uh this like Greek kind of a t- uh, it's Roman. Like, it's like Roman, ancient Rome. Greek, ancient Roman, kind of like hard a little, to wrap your throw, head around. throw around with some psychedelia in India kind of shit. Yeah. Like it was so well the, done though. It wasn't what they were going for with the sexuality like, of the entire yeah. environment that was going on then was like casted, 
casted so fucking well. Yeah. Dude, if you wrote down, like, if you were to be like, yeah, I want to fucking write this movie with and there's going to be a shit ton of people in there who are like you this, could this not cross you could not between, write every you could, like you couldn't do it there was like it. krishna <laughs> there was like krishna crossed with caesar and shit or whatever clear you know what i mean it was just this weird <laughs> hodgepodge of fucking characters but it worked so fucking well and like like the people you would see in these weird like you said like what did you call it single shot what was it the whole, uh the there's there's there was like, a lot of them there's there's like Especially when they're walking through the single whore. movement or something. Yeah, single, called it. yeah single. But well, there's uh, so in the beginning of the movie when they go to the whorehouses and they they're going through like what, what essentially okay so essentially when they're what they're going into is like um will be a hotel without any rules yeah and all those people a are just brothel. like renting rooms it's it, it's a brothel but it's also it's like, like a, a bathhouse yeah, it's a marketplace yeah, 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 pretty much like yeah, a big yeah, market people are renting these spaces, like mall, but it was know? like yeah, yeah, but it was right. like serving what they wanted at the time which would have been sexual appetites and weird shit and like you're getting glimpses in every room and, and you're you like, like <laughs> he Fellini fills that fucking screen with people that are like so not your typical movie people but it's like the freaks and you know, normal looking and or overweight but like they, they all are, are distinctive looking they like and they look he, amazing I yeah, love they it they all look amazing so and he fills the detailed, screen with these like, like he, I mean he would hold casting calls for his movies where he would look at uh, 10,000 people and he'd pick <laughs> out and it would be open casting calls like if you look weird come here dude and he would ca he would he would hold casting calls for 10,000 people and he would just like bring in the freaks and he just like put them mm. he filled his movies with people who I might like be that. over they're all filled with people I like might him. be overthinking it a little bit but every fucking single person seemed like they were there deliberately like their mm. motions were done fucking yeah yeah do you know what I mean like, yeah, yeah, if yeah, you didn't sure. slouch on a fucking no, thing no if you watch like, the documentary saw, they're like, like the scene where the woman's dancing through the dinner party and she's like doing that whole dance sequence and then she falls and like kind of starts crying and then starts laughing and then gets up and keeps dancing the documentary shows them shooting that sequence and he has them do it so many different times until That's he finally I mean. like and then he so... finally pulled and it's just not working out the way he wants and he finally he's like i need you to fall <laughs> i need you to do that like it was so meticulously put the way that i thought of it every okay, shot no, okay do you guys know who andrew reynolds is skateboarder yes he is he is one of those skateboarders who like he'll watch his footage of him doing this unbelievably insane trick. You're like, okay, you just did a fucking kickflip 360 down a fucking 12 set. You landed it 17 times in a row, <laughs> and you're not satisfied with it because your arms didn't go out like exactly how you wanted them to. Like he is incredibly yeah. meticulous but artist. He is so <clears throat> fucking good. Like that his worst be... his worst day is. Any other skater's best fucking day. Andrew Reynolds is awesome. Andrew Reynolds is fucking amazing. That dude. seems to be the OCD thing with like, what, like, we, what we deem as genius. Or necessarily geniuses. They're as smart as everyone else, but they just do it so... They, do it, they, bro, they know like, how they want it, and they know exactly what it needs mm -hmm. to look like, and they don't settle. For like, oh, exactly. we need to, we need to move on with the settling. Day. Settling it. is That's pretty it. much the, the the indicator. Yeah, you you settle. The, if you if you settle, you know that's that's a lot of people can settle and and you wouldn't even know. You don't even know what they were capable of. Mm. You know, other other than that. Yeah, because yeah. they already that did seems it. Seems to be the indicator, and the you people know? who don't settle mm. are the ones who ended up getting the Our highest fucking quality. legends. Yes, yeah. you got Stanley Kubrick. You got. I mean, Fellini never settled. Uh, mm -hmm. was fucking Orson Welles never settled. Dude. And his career fucking tanked, but like, he still made great shit. But, but like, you, you watch those wine it. videos. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, you watch those fucking Yeah, but good time. <laughs> <laughs> those are real, by the way. And, of course they're real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about now? Orson Welles doing, like, commercials with for alcohol and, like, for wine, wine and shit. But then he never... Orson Welles, like, dude, he's, like, drunk he, as fuck <laughs> doing takes. Dude, I found There's out... So many videos. I found out right after we watched Buckaroo Bond. <laughs> when they make the joke about that. That's fucking so earlier sick, episode dude. we did Buckaroo Bonsai and they make a joke in Buckaroo Bonsai about Orson Welles and the wine commercials. I found out just <laughs> after that that he got fired from that company when he admitted in a Johnny Carson interview that he didn't drink the wine. What? He was like, oh, I don't drink that crap. And they fired him <laughs> as the spokesperson. That happened. <laughs> That's funny because it's like, okay, 
Um, Yo, think so, about the context. Too, so, though. did you get tr- way drunk before you showed up, or what happened? <laughs> what the fuck? Or happened? are you lying? Yeah, and you just it's drank the all the worst wine. Day of your life, <laughs> like. <you know>, <laughs> That guy fucking blew up too. He was like the most. He was like this like really great like composed person, Citizen Kane. You're like, oh, Citizen that guy's gonna be this, great. The, the, and then literally he regarded is, the best movie ever. Literally and then regarded twenty as the years best later, movie ever. ever made. And then you look at him twenty years later. He's the fattest motherfucker on the planet. He's gone through four fucking wives. He's a horrible person. Makes great fucking movies. Nobody watches him. <laughs> right, right. That, yeah, that holy is another hell. thing. That's another thing. Okay, so there's this band, The Heart Machine. And for some reason, they have this similar fucking story. Like, this guy created the heart machine, this one fucking guy. He had this visionary fucking thing. And everybody who was involved with it was super fucking on board until they had to get to the point where they had to work with him. Right? And, like, be on tour with him and fucking... Okay, we have to write another album with you? Fuck this. You're the worst person ever. You're oh, the fucking... Man, yeah. And he he... Like, so, like just having that sort of notoriety or whatever being people being like dude yeah your work is fucking dope as shit apparently turned this son of a bitch into a fucking monster and like you know like nobody wanted to fucking be around him anymore so like he still creates great music but he'll never fucking perform it with anybody mm-hmm. ever because he because he's just that much of a fucking like that's crazy he's insufferable he's yeah insufferable. Who's that? Uh, so it's the say right into the, right into the mic the harp machine the harp machine. The harp machine. Paging his, the his... harp machine. Ooh. So it's the, it's the it's look up that shit. Look up on Wikipedia. Maybe he's got a name right there, and then you can you can uh, donate money to his cause. That's H A A. He's a piece of shit. Harp. So the harp machine. We support pieces of shit on this <laughs> podcast. As long as they're like keeping it real, right? Yeah. Hey, he, you guys that's, better that's be keeping his it real. vision. Okay, <laughs> that's his vision. He's an asshole, but we love him. But he's true to his word. He's, right? he's the best. It's a pile of shit. He's but the he worst. Stands by but, that. Pile I mean, I've never heard he, of him, but, but like, he <laughs> sounds famous, so maybe he can make me famous. He's the worst, but he's honest. I mean, he's got a shit ton of Instagram followers, so we're gonna promote him. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Just like try to <laughs> clasp onto some of those likes. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna try and just like grab one uh, hashtag. Hey, can we can we ride um, on your back uh, on the way up? Which is why. <laughs> right. Yeah. We're bicycles. We're gonna ride you all the way to the surface, and then we're gonna go above you. We'll chill. We'll chill. We'll chill. Okay, we'll chill. It's all right. 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 <laughs> Back to Satyricon. We literally have not got anywhere. Okay, so Satyricon. Literally, they fucking talk about. Oh my god, we gotta get go get 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 Gitone, Gitone, and uh, fucking. Ascutul? Ascutul? Ascutul. 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 He's the brother. He's the brother of Copio. Apparently. And he, he looks, he looks down, like dude. James Marsden with rabies. <laughs> like, <laughs> like too skinny. He's like too he's skinny kind of and like plate, also like of. he's like fucking Schmeagle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I love how he starts and he's like he crawling literally starts through like the, crawling like, through in a one yeah, cloth. Yeah. Like, he's like weird. he's like Uncopio doesn't know that I've sold Giton to the famous actor. If I see him coming. I will have to fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And he's just like so. Crawl. He's like he wants my butt <laughs> and he shakes his butt in the camera. And you're like, oh my god. A couple of goes to get fucking uh, a shield. Kitone. Kitone. He goes Kitone. to get Kitone. From this actor who's farting all over the place. And uh, <laughs> pretty much. You're getting uh, applauded for it. Well, it's true. He eventually got reprimanded for not like for fucking with Encolpio when he went to go get Gitone back, and then the guy was like, "We'll fucking kill you, you." And he's like, "Don't take my theater away." And he takes them out. I thought I always think that's the most jarring part of that scene is when he takes that thing off, it's and he's not got that the different. black hair, <laughs> and it's like it's just like the makeup, and it's just like you almost get used to that weird like helmet yep. thing he's yeah, wearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and then. And it's like all skin colored and stuff, and he's got this look, and then he just like takes that off, and it's black hair, and he starts begging, and you're just like, oh my god. (laughs) 
You get like half of the effect, right? Like, so like only like half of his face is the same from when he takes the fucking. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just so, so much. Like, oh. It's just so shocking. That and is, then, yeah. and then I love how the movie cuts, but then it just cuts to them like going through all the weird markets and shit. Well, and Copio and Copio rescues cuts. pretty much. Like just gets uh, Get, Getone. Well, he back. gets Getone, but Getone seems completely fucking fine wherever. Honestly, he's, at. he's just like he's just like I'm wherever wherever like he's that character. He's like I'm just a hole. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. The film. he doesn't speak. And the pretty face. Movie. He doesn't speak. Yeah. yeah, and you're he's, like while you're watching, you're like he's visual. Dude, like Getone, well, like that was fully. You look I good. Like the shit out of him. Uh, your hole is. I'll fill it. And they showed his everybody. Butt everybody in that movie. Everyone will fill it. <laughs> everyone wants to fill Gitone's hole. That's that not movie. a bad dude. No, no, no. Chase just said everyone in that movie, like totally. Even True. The, even the fucking even the, bad chicks. Like, even the people who aren't part would, of the movie want to totally fuck him. The only person that doesn't totally want to fuck, fuck him, him is the captain of the ship who ends up marrying Golpio. Yeah, or like, you know, Peeler oh, right, right, right. into that. Yeah, yeah. But right. Right, later on, yeah. <laughs> fucking it. Later on. Later on. No. Okay. So this movie's plot. When you're watching, you're like, what in the fuck is going on? But when you sit here and you talk about it, there's like a pretty, it, it's a pretty like well-structured film. It is. Well, like, um, well, like I, I, I was making a little bit of notes in between and like, I would wait a second before I made a note. Yeah. You wait till you see watch, where it went. Yeah. Watch, see where it went. Well, your then, brain and then, and then kind of make a note. And that's how you kind of put together the plot. And I'm, right, ha- yeah, and I'm yeah. happy I took notes because I, it starts off so it's weird. Very strange. It starts off. So, I, I, for me, having seen the movie so many times now, I go the the first couple vignettes because I feel like you can break the movie up into vignettes. Which is what? What is a fuck? For so, me, I don't fucking know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, well, like short stories, like short segments, like mm, this, like yeah. segments. I mean, you can break yeah. them up into like segments. So like the first 100%. part is like oh, 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 almost acts. Yeah, yeah, but like the, this movie is so many. If you Smaller do it as acts, acts, it's like it's like act break. It's so many yeah, act breaks. Yeah, it's seven acts. <laughs> it's more than that. Like oh you, my god, so uh, uh, seven gonna, acts. Very briefly, going to go through this. You start with him going to get Detone back, and then you go into him going through the bathhouses and the the businesses and all that stuff, and you have this yeah. whole sequence, right? And then it's like now he after the earthquake, <clears throat> you have him in the the art house <laughs> and then they do the whole dinner party sequence and then they go to the captured in prison sequence well, there's also the funeral from sequence the fuck, no 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 from the dinner sequence they go to murder the poet but they don't like because he comes back obviously later in the film but, but that you scene think that he's gonna where they like pour fucking oh, oil, oil on his, on his face, face? Yeah. and like there's that oh. huge fire in the background I like, love that like literally at the end of that scene I was like all right, that guy's dead. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's right. fucking That's what dead. they want you to think. I literally wrote, poet gets murdered. And then <laughs> later on, I wrote, dot, 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 not. Yes. <laughs> Psych? Psych? Well, so they do the fake funeral scene, and they do that whole vignette, and then it goes back to him with the poet, and he's dying, right? And he gives yeah. that speech, and he goes, that whole field scene, which is a beautiful, beautiful. fucking shot. Well, I, love, right. I love when he, he reaches right. up. And like his hand, just like it's just his hand. In the frame. Oh, it's he amazing! That and then he pulls it back down. The camera just falls. It is so beautiful. And his whole speech is like, "I leave you." And he just names all. It's like it's like a beautiful poem. He's like, "I leave you oh, the clouds, and I leave you the shit. mountains, and I leave yeah, you yeah. love, and I leave you, I leave you the the seasons, especially spring and summer." summer. Yeah. And like you know, and it's just all these beautiful ideas. And then it ends with him just going, "I leave you," and then he just like fades off. And mm-hmm. it's like. It's the central message of the movie. But it's that like, in itself would have been fucking... That would have... Been, for most fucking poets, would probably have been a... You know... That would have been a goddamn magnum opus or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That fucking part right there and was Fellini wrote it. <laughs> dope, dude. Yeah. It was beautiful. Can and I, it's like... Can I say before that, just talking shot-wise, I, I loved that shot. The first thing that caught me from the movie was that shot where they cut off that dude's hand. Oh, yeah. my God. And it was, and it was literally just the stump, the axe, 
in the stump and, yeah, and the hand. The fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. And behind them was like the like the crowd. The, yeah, the crowd. The just like the There's horizon like this, like, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. That that shot, it was it's just like beautiful. you're just you, like watching the movie for the first time. And you see that shot and you're like Oh, okay. Holy okay. shit. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. movie. Yeah. This movie's good. <laughs> like, yeah, you said, bro, I, I am down with this. Yes. Like, you said it was a lot of that, though. Like, he was kind of going for visually stimulating shit like that, right? Like, so that's yeah. that was the whole thing. So, like, there's a sequence of the documentary when he's doing the boat stuff where the, the wedding on the boat was actually on the boat. Well, in that wedding, they kill the cow, right? A uh, dude, yeah, yeah. So a little fucking baby ass cow, dude. They kill the cow. Which is fucked up, well, bro. He he is a historian <laughs> on set, so like this movie is his, historically accurate, which is why those boats the look most, like for the shit. For the for the most yeah. part, this movie is historically so. The depictions holes. of culture and the depictions of all the stuff are and good are pretty accurate. So it's like. He, he had someone on set making sure that they like weren't making inaccuracies but mm-hmm. he was also making it seem like a fucking alien planet which is insane insane like, during this sequence shit. his whole like he, they kill the cow and then it cut like the cut is different so you see the the, the it goes with the this thing going down and then it goes down with it and then you hear you hear the sound but you don't see it and the next shot it's like a dead cow and it's just laying there yeah and, and it's the same thing with also when they behead that guy and his and his head had ends up in the water Holy it's the same shit. thing yeah well when they killed the cow in the behind the scenes they sedated it and the historian was like who who was also a scientist <laughs> and like he, he was there to be for for accuracy he was like the cow would be be still kicking it would still be moving 100 yeah, after yeah, you yeah. after you killed it like Those that it would still and, and that's that how they, they did it back in the day and the cows would still be the animals would still be moving and Fellini said I don't care. I don't want it to be realistic. Fuck. And he got really mad because they were arguing. And he's like, I don't want to be fucking realistic. I want it to be. It's a film. It's my it's, fucking it's about, film. It, it's not even my film. It's, it's a just, film. Yeah. And it's about the image. And the image isn't it's a perfect. Vision. It's a vision. It's a vision. You know? He's and like, the I, image. It's, it's a damn. film. And For it's not about realism. It, doesn't, it really doesn't. It really doesn't it, matter about It's that. about like, the like, tone like, and the experience. great directors. Dude. That it doesn't matter what's real. Even if it's a very fucking real film. Like, as long as it's consistent with the world that he's built. So, like, it doesn't matter if it's in reality. It matters if it's consistent. It, when when it feels off, when you're watching a movie, is when it's not consistent with what else he's established mm-hmm. as the as the creator of this world. Yeah. You go watch a PTA movie. There's things in those movies that aren't realistic at all. But they they you would never say that because... It fits within the world that he's created Dude, and the rules that he's structured. I just made movie. a fucking crazy ass realization. Like we were literally just talking about how piss poor we are at fucking finishing a fucking thing we start musically, right? Yeah, we were. We were, we're literally just talking about it. this guy's the opposite, right? Like he's like, no, I have a fucking final product. You guys can get fucked along the way. He literally, right? like, he had a lot of fights about this in his career. He literally, that's so he literally dope, like that's that's the that's the next level of artist where you start with a finished product. And God you damn work, it! You work towards that goal, and everybody yeah. else you know? along the way can eat shit or die. Instead of that's instead so of like my dope, but dude, my process at least now. What, what's also awesome? My processes are are like I have this idea and I'm gonna try to make it kind of like that yeah, and yeah, I'm, I'm working the, through it. Hundred <laughs> percent, dude. I'm then, right there with but you. But that's dude. how Fellini also worked. Like he didn't have his. Like, he had a vision. Obviously, he knew what he wanted it to fucking but look like. But it always right? changed but along like, the way, was, kind of thing. There were peer, no well, once he started, he knew what he wanted. Once casting goes and you get to set, God, like he's. Damn it, he, that's but good. he spends a significant amount. Of time. I mean, in his biography too, you and it it, it became short shorter periods of time as he got older and got better and that's why i think his older films are better but they're so weird so people like kind of dismiss them but i think that's why they're relevant because mm-hmm. he was pushing yeah. cinema they into a direction a it, it was format. literally films that are so ahead of their time that they're still ahead of our time fuck there there are fuck. movies in his later career that are even God, more, that's good more ahead, they're so ahead of their time but like he he <sighs> would struggle through the writing process he like created these ideas and would had he had a, like people he wrote with and like trusted friends and they would write these screenplays together and like he built himself up to this where it, he obviously was really really experienced by the time he made Satyricon but he he had to come up with all these ideas 
Like he, he had to structure it out and like be unsure for a little while. He designed the whole thing in a whole different process. We're like, uh, if I had done that, I'd be like, I made this yeah. and I'd be done with that screenplay and be like, I have this, I have this vision and it, it's all written down here and I have all the notes and everything. But then how else am I going to take that forward? But he's the kind of guy who like designed it to that point. And went through all that uncertainty before he made it visual. Dude, and you then can made so it tell a fucking difference. Like, I know I've been, I don't know, not necessarily since we've been fucking recording, but since we, the three of us watched it, it was like so much more satisfying to see all of this. I mean, you can, it's not like, okay, maybe a lot of people worked behind the scenes on the fucking well, CGI a ton of people on the and shit like that. Yeah. Like, no, these people, like, you're watching them like how much effort went into yeah, this well, fucking well, like, movie. Uh, yeah, and also insane, you like wonder bro. you wonder how long like wow all of these shots like how long were these people on set? How many takes? Just Whoa. like how fucking, many times did they have to redo like, the makeup? Dude, it's insane. Lighting and the fuck, it's dude. awesome. It's like fuck. one of the fucking <clears throat> one of the fucking things I wrote was like. N- Nobody got paid for this. Like, how did anybody get paid for this? There so, were so many fucking people in this so, fucking movie, bro. So much money behind this movie. So there had to be. There and, had to be. We're, we're been talking about. We're talking huge about huge budget. Dude. We're talking about one of the greatest auteurs of cinema. And Who one of most studied. Not even, not even said, like, right? Like, he's studied. He's revered. He's he's had an impact on. You name a director who's making movies right now. They've seen a Fellini movie. And it has impacted their I filmmaking. Got you. And so I got much. You. Even Michael Bay has homages to fucking Fellini. Who's one of the yeah, ones I was talking tight. shit about? I, and like, I don't know shit about I like, movies, right? I like Transformers. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. God damn it. That's I'm one of the saying, ones like, I brought it up. It goes down to even the worst okay. one. <laughs> now, the, that, the, the most now, notable now that film. sounds like we actually like Transformers, and I'm worried. Yeah, we're not. No, 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 no. That's just because but we've been ripping on it so hard to we address. I. Terry, <laughs> Terry Gilliam is the we most might need notable to edit that director out <laughs> influenced by Fellini. Say it Ter- again? Terry Gilliam is the most notable director Which that's been influenced Name, by drop, Fellini. Drop some fucking shit that he's done. Oh, man. He, uh, that a dipshit like me would know. Brazil... Uh, Terry Gilliam. Terry Gilliam was... Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. God damn it. Uh, say well, no more. Well... Uh, Monty Python is Fuck. most notably. Okay, he was Fuck. he Monty was the Python guy who did all the weird. animation, and it was also the the naked organ man. Oh man! On, on Flying Circus. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh holy shit, dude! Yeah, dude, Terry, 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 Terry Gilliam so, is amazing. On eight, that's and incredible. So on he's eight one of these and behind a half. The scene guys. On eight and a half. One of like eight. my biggest fucking influencers. Like I fucking love Terry. I Gilliam. could see okay. that now. That so you, on eight, yeah, eight and a half, the Fellini that. masterpiece that I was telling you about with all the dreams and fantasies and the director and the meta. He's the on the special the features and he presents all the special features. Say it again. He presents. The he special presents features all the special features on eight and a half on Fellini's eight and a half. He does oh, like that's the, awesome. he's part of the documentary he, and he presents everything. And it's Terry Gilliam. Damn. He, he's like <laughs> the biggest. Damn. 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 Eight and a half. Damn. Is, Damn. Eight and a half is specifically the most like his films. Okay. When you, when you well, watch well, that. well, 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 well. Let me let me get to, to this. Satiricon. Let me get to that. Satiricon. We suck, we suck at staying on topic. No, it's fine. It doesn't it's fucking matter. Who gives this a fuck? Is, You're yeah. driving to Arizona right now, and you need to listen to this. You you have eight more hours to go. Yeah, fuck it. This is only going on for do, forty right? more minutes. So let's draw. You have to pick there. something else after this. No. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Anyway, uh, I'm. What else are you gonna listen to? Oh, Joe after Rogan podcast. After Bullshit. um, okay. So the, the city falls. There's the dinner party with the czar. Who totally looks like Joey Diaz? <laughs> yes, he does. And also, uh, based and shit. Yep. He he burps and says to like a doctor or some shit. He's like, "How does that sound?" He burps and he's like, "How does that sound?" And he's like, like, "I think you're, I think you're doing better. You're doing better." <laughs> Let me get one more. And he's more. like, "But." Yeah, he's like, yeah. "Let me get one more." He's like, "But." And you're like, "Oh yeah, you're doing a lot. It's <laughs> great." That's funny. <laughs> and uh, so that was, so, so we're saying we got to the point where like poet got murdered, didn't really get murdered. You know, you like kind of think he's going, but we get the cage boat. We get the cage boat. Cage boat's awesome. Well, yeah. bunch of fucking cage boats, which is literally just like slavery. Yeah, I want to take one aside <clears throat> and say right before the cage boat sequence, we had the little fable about the the widow and the guard. 
I don't know if you guys remember that sequence. It's one of my favorite sequences in the movie because it's so yeah, funny. Abs- I absolutely remember it's it. It's so yeah, funny. Because it ends with 100%. like, what's a dead, uh, what's one dead husband what's for a, a living dead husband outlet? for a living outlet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were fucking writing in your goddamn notebook during this sequence. And it was the best, the best early on sequence. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I, I, whoa. Think I might have whoa, whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, I'm glad we took this aside because now I know that you didn't watch the whole goddamn movie. Run it past <laughs> I me. Can't I, it. I can't do it. I can't I can't watch I the I whole movie. movie. I gotta miss a line or two. <laughs> I don't think I caught this. Run it past me again, buddy. <laughs> the, the fake funeral. The fake funeral. Oh, with yes. The fucking oh, yes. tranny? With and the then tranny? they're giving... And they're giving no, 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 oh, no, 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 with the king. With the... Uh, whoever he the was, right? No, no, no. Before that. The fake funeral with the guy who like the rich, the rich. Yeah, person. he had a bunch of people fucking praising him and shit. That's and then what you're talking yes, about? Yes. and then and then they have the guy telling the story about the widow. Yes, I ex- yes. I, I do I yes. do know what you're talking about. Right. We literally whole... talked while I was like, "What's happening?" Yeah, and you were like, "This is fake. <laughs> this is a story." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I love that sequence though. I love it. It's so charming. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, back shit. to the cage boats. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's <laughs> shitty. It's funny. It's whatever. <laughs> so so. <laughs> I need the, more drink. You need more who? It's shitty. Hoochie it's shitty. Nanny. It's whatever. I need huge nanny. <laughs> so the the cage boat, honestly, like another one of the best shots of the movie. Like, there's like top five. Like, there's so many good shots, but like, I think there's top five that I kind of like. The I always made a note, but like, this is the first time I watched this movie, obviously, so that could change. <laughs> but when they get on those boats that are literally just fucking cages <laughs> first life. they're just like all right we're fucking going to africa like they're going to africa aren't they they're going no they're going to caesar's palace to be slaves for his like sadistic they keep on taste. mentioning africa they, they okay so africa got mentioned at yeah, the yeah. end uh Eumolpio, the the poet who supposedly died earlier on um Eumolpil? Eumolpus? <laughs> well, Eumolpus, but it was pronounced Eumolpia. Really? Um, and, Col- and Colpia was spelled with a U-S at the end, too. Dude, it, I didn't even but fuck I, with I, most I, of those I, names, I-O-S, actually. Yeah. Oh, it was I-U-S. I-U-S, really? Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah there was Tried to write him down as ass. soon as I saw him, but Dude, there was some fucked ass shit going on, bro. It was in Colpia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, damn! So the fact um, that you're getting anywhere in the same ballpark is remarkable. To well, me, wait, wait, wait. Let me mention the shot first before we go off the rails. Because all I'm trying to say Slave boat is shot. the shot yeah. in the boat where they're all in those cubbies. All the men are in those cubbies, just oh, straight on on the wall. Yeah, yeah, dude. That shot is amazing. Yeah, it's it's so spot. fucking beautiful. Yeah, and they're all just like chilling. And you're just like. Damn, it's fucking hipster. It's ass almost like a passing <laughs> shot. It's almost just like here's a bunch of slaves it's a very on quick a shot. ship. Yeah, yeah, but it's great. It's so it's a good shot. Dope, dude. Hell it, yeah. Every everything about this movie has like these like beautifully composed. Like even the most mundane thing is so beautifully composed. Bro, remember I had to fucking ask you: Is this a fucking camera effect thing? <laughs> yeah. Something he's oh doing yeah. With the the, the camera? is this a like, boat? Is this like, like the stage actually moving or whatever? I think the stage was actually moving, but it was like. It, it was camera part of the effect yeah. too. Honestly, yeah. you did a lot you can, of that shit though, you bro. Can, Actual lens flare. I think. Right? Yeah. I think. Actual fucking. Times, yeah. I, yeah. I really do think from watching it that it was just a camera effect. Like it, oh, it he like lit. Obviously, they like could have being... had the stage movie, but I really don't think they did. Well, they, at least they so... wouldn't have to because how the camera was moving, you could like if you it was focused realistic, enough, but yeah. you could yeah. you could keep the fucking like. Uh, just balance kind of on in your mind. It was, they were using like, a certain rig that it, kept it the looked, camera. They used a certain it looks, rig. I don't know. They were using natural. a certain rig that it looked, looked very organic. natural. It looked organic, well, they were using bro. a certain rig that was keeping the camera balanced, so it wasn't doing this. Yeah, for and it sure. Was, and it was, it was like just kind of moving. Doing that, you know? yes. It was yes. doing this. But it was like casually, affirmatively. Yeah, but it was like very, slow. And, it was very good. It had like, and I, <laughs> I really liked it. It was, it it was, was a too much. It was just enough. It's a 
good effect. <laughs> and was, uh, uh, then, then they had a tickle fight and a makeout sesh with the king. <laughs> <laughs> the That's literally the what happened. The the top boss said, "I'm gonna fucking tickle you and say you have a nice young body and nice skin, <laughs> and uh, and then I'm gonna lay you down and kiss your face." And it's literally what fucking happened. And I was like, wow. Through most of the movie. That's what happened, though, right after that. Yeah, no, like, I know. On the but, like, you, you, I don't know if you missed it, but, like, there was a moment where he was, like, peering. It was, like, this beautiful shot of him peering through one of the peak holes. And it just, like, everything was blacked out. And it was just, like, this little, like, peak yeah. hole. And he's, like, watching the king or whatever. Mm -hmm. or, like, watching the Caesar. And he beats a guy to death. Like, fucking kills him. And then he looks up, and he sees him through the bars. He sees Inculpio. And he's just like, you're beautiful. You can see in his face. Yeah, there's so much of that in this movie. Yeah. Well, there's, like, I don't know if... You're a beautiful man. Did Holy you, shit. Yeah, Did you see the scene where they were at the fucking... This is the opposite of, like, a movie that would be... Uh, like almost this is what we need in our culture. In the fuck, kind of kind of tilt the scales back to just being normal. Fuck like we fuck, need dude, a film real. like this to just come out where it's like, oh my god, like so gay, like we're so scared, and like we're scared of women, we're, and, like we're scared of sexuality, like, but we're, also we're scared we're, of everything, and uh, everything's going wrong. For <laughs> real, for real, you can't even fucking like <laughs> one guy can't even fucking. I I fucking swear to God to you, I. Like a week and a half ago, I saw someone posting one of my fucking homies on Facebook was like, is it gay to like or, or to love someone else's post? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Where Wait, have what? we come to? <laughs> like, you can't just <laughs> like someone's Facebook post. Like, or love it. like yeah. loving yeah. it. Like, loving it is somehow dude. gay now. You fucking know? Like, do, do my best. If you do a heart shape. Do my dumbass like best friend Jacob, like, love this dude's post. He's probably fucking butts now, <laughs> dude. The He's I suck in dick now. And like, guess dang, what? What? Heard. If he is, like, who the for him? Fuck he's cares, getting laid. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he's, like, getting someone else laid. Or he's whatever. probably getting like, laid he's, more hopefully than Hopefully, he's me having now. a good time. Yeah, I'm yeah, making yeah. money. God damn. Yeah, yeah. I That's haven't so seen him frown in a while. Support That's pretty good. Jacob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He hasn't quit his job and he's not smoking crack and like quit his job. He's just sucking dick. Like who fucking cares? He's just smoking that fucking pipe, man. Who cares, you know? he's, dude? Dude, smoking and suck. <laughs> or getting his butt fucked. Or like who fucking cares? Like yeah. Hopefully he's, he's enjoying. He's it. happy. Look at this guy you Raul know? he's with. That's a handsome fellow. Well, I can why you, can't I, I say don't work that? too hard? I can why tell you one I? thing. And Colpio <laughs> really, really did a good job. <laughs> Giving it to the other guy. That's, that's <laughs> the portrayal. It wasn't overwhelming, right? Dude, for Now, real. if the other guy had for a real. big fat ass and some sexy ass titties, <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it to him. <laughs> like anyway, and Colpio was like, <laughs> was like, well, damn. Oh, damn. A you want to make out? Something gets you so far. You want to make out? Right. Okay, and they're on the deck in the morning. I literally just have like little notes. Dude, <laughs> After what? that whole thing, they go up on the deck and fucking, uh, what's his face? At the wedding. The sick ass bitch. Uh, Gitone. <laughs> Get Gitone. Gitone is wearing uh, the Empire Strikes Back Lake. No, Colpio. Thingy. Colpio was wearing the black and white thing. That's what I'm not what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're, talking about you're talking about, you're talking about, about the, the gold. The... Yeah. When they cut to that shot of them and they're like standing there and Shield Toe starts laughing, he's wearing that fucking like peach. Barely color. there. Yeah. Like yeah. It's not in Shield Toe. It's it's Gitone. It's Gitone, yeah, dude. He's wearing the golden things. He's Slain wearing the boy, golden bikini boy, bottom. Right? <laughs> he's bikini wearing bottom. he's wearing the 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 bottom half of Princess Leia's fucking <laughs> Jabba Palace fucking <laughs> bikini. It's wearing the bottom half, and that's it. It's just like, damn, you fucking slut. Like, I a slut. Slut. I love it. A slut. Honestly, like, this guy could turn every fucking straight man in America gay. Alan said, like, <laughs> Alan said at the beginning, of, like, close to the beginning of the movie too. He's like. 
It seems like he's doing this just kind of—he's he's kind of a whore. Yeah, he was one. Oh, he's, was like, he's the biggest whore of the movie. Chase's, no, no. Chase's reaction was like, "Yeah, he totally is. He just, he's, a, he's literally a whore. He's just totally a whore." <laughs> <laughs> and he's walking off just as if this other guy that he just left and like is just like butts hanging out. And he's like, "Have me a flaunt <laughs> He's like, I, "I look great." Everybody in, in this entire world wants to fuck my ass. Yeah. <laughs> and he's about it. And that's cool. He likes it. He's he, living he a good life. He's just getting sold around. <laughs> and he <laughs> doesn't mind. He yeah. doesn't mind. He's watching some good fights and shit. Yeah. He's about it. People are fighting over him. <laughs> like, so many men are fighting over Gitone for like half of the fucking movie. He's well trained in acting, right? He's got a tight butt. So, so the cute the, face, the good captain, face. the captain, say a goddamn word. the captain and Copio get fucking That's married. Perfect. The captain and Copio get fucking married, and the captain is the bride. I know it's amazing. It looks, looks like Marion. <laughs> funniest part of the movie to me. And it's so what funny. Copio's wearing is amazing. It's the best, best tux I've ever seen in my life. Oh, dude, I want that. I would I wear want that. to wear that every day. It's like I want to go to court in that. It's amazing. Yeah, you would look so out of place in court in that. But it would hey, be can amazing. I just say? Can I just you say get out real of jury quick? Duty though, bro. Can I just for say you, real quick? Sure. Help you up. Totally get out of jury duty, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Matter of fact, it'd be even better if you go up there and don't even say shit. They're <laughs> like you, asking you questions, and you just look at them kind of blankly. Uh, I mean. My name is Incolpio. Incolpio. Incolpio, the guy, the guy who what? plays Incolpio. His name is Martin Potter. Yeah, he's and British. If if you if you look him up, if you look at a picture of him, if you haven't seen the movie, and you put it right up next to a picture of this man named Alaska Lynch, off Instagram. I know him from Instagram, and he's he's he's. We've talked briefly on Instagram together, but he is just this poet and comedian and awesome guy and they look so <laughs> fucking similar. It's he weird. just kind of looks like the modern day yeah. version. 100%. Yeah. And it's I love it. Like it's just I was just like, damn, that looks like it's almost like Alaska I wanna Lynch. I wanna message him and be like, have you seen this movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost do as well. And I But you, know, you don't want to ruin the guy's life. We'll no, just, but like the movie's no, so no, beautiful. Oh, he's, he's his a life, poet. He, he would appreciate probably, it. Probably probably if he hasn't seen it, which he Or annoyed, right? Very annoyed. very likely has. I don't think he'd be annoyed. No, you don't think <laughs> No, right? people don't this he, guy he'd people, like, stop fucking <laughs> No, no. <laughs> he's a nice guy. I think he's a nice guy. I think he'd be fine. I think he'd find it guy. interesting. <laughs> if he hasn't heard it already. But even if he has, whatever. Doesn't hey, have even you matter. Have you seen a Fellini movie? <laughs> <laughs> you seen it's the like, weirdest Fellini movie? <laughs> Yeah, you remind me of that guy. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> again? <laughs> Fuck. This again? I'm God, fucking... how many people have seen that movie? I didn't even think it was This is bullshit. Part. This guy's <laughs> ruining my life. <laughs> it's goddamn Bellini, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that good of a fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, my act's better, baby. Listen, though, for real. Chase, you asked us honestly on the car ride over uh, that we were just on how we how we enjoyed the movie. I fucking ser sincerely, I really did enjoy it because it was genuine as shit, bro. Like, how many fucking people were in that fucking movie, bro? A lot, a lot of people. Were <laughs> oh in, yeah. my god, dude! It was so authentic, well, though, and like you could tell, like you said, it was uh, it was meant to be like more so visually stimulating than it was supposed to be like a good story or like entertaining like or whatever the fuck like they nailed the fucking visual effects in a way that I don't think I've ever fucking seen and that's not to say something it's it like almost, I'm learning it would, it would almost switch movies. back and forth honestly in my opinion like seeing it after uh, you know I want to watch it again obviously yeah, yeah but I'm just saying like I, I think that switch back and forth from like Oh my god, this looks so good to like details that you were just like, I don't know if I need to be concerned with this, 
but I'm interested because it's happening and it's literally so off the fucking rails and off the cuff that I'm just you like, gotta pay I, attention I don't to it. know what's happening right now. I literally have to listen to this. You gotta pay attention. And it would, it would, it would balance itself between both of those. Yeah, <laughs> it like would you be said, like, you were like, dude, this part was like, so peaceful and like, tranquil. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there was this a lot this, of that like, too. this is a beautiful part that where they're literally just singing and it's gorgeous. And then like say a couple of words and then there's other parts that are just so fucking insane and like visually masterful. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, damn. And like, that's kind of the movie, like back and forth in yeah. my, in oh, my totally, first totally. viewing. That's kind of Crazy what it feels though, like. Bro. I don't know if I've ever seen a fucking movie. Again, I don't, I, I haven't seen a fucking whole, I'm not like the, you know. Finish your sentence. It's, you just I said, I don't sh- think if I've seen a movie. Quite like this before, dude. I I, I haven't seen a movie quite like this before. Like, I'm well, there's not no the person like to be like well, the reference for like, well, fucking, what did you think? About? So like, I don't really watch a whole lot of movies, but what the no, fuck, dude? It, it was so much more entertaining than any of the other shit I've seen recently. Just for the simple fact that it felt way more authentic than anything i've seen it's true in it's a true long really fucking even time. like as their effects go like it, it it didn't even seem like it was like i don't know there's so many people these days that was made in 1969 right yeah like there was 69. actual lens flare there's, there's like there's just so many people that are trying to do shit like that that are trying way too hard fuck yeah bro. almost like they they yeah. literally they made it raw well they're, they're, and like they're not in trying both in the boat in their in shit. their like, or in their honest well like not even like they're trying they're probably not trying hard enough in the fact that they're just not they don't have the right they they're, don't, they're they don't literally not trying to, <laughs> they're trying to use computers dude to okay it. I just thought that was the whole thing it was like that's the whole thing practical the, the, but like like even even practical effects, like the the things they did, were very simplistic. Yeah, but like they they worked and so and fucking and well. Like that. Yeah, yeah, it was very simplistic practical effects. But it, and looks they, amazing. it took, it took you, a lot of takes, it, probably or whatever. It, it was super, super so much. Like yeah. it was so much shit. <laughs> super so much. <laughs> Fuck yes, bro. But seriously, but yeah. at the same time, like dude, they they transported worked, you. Like it transferred through, you to a world that you like aren't familiar with. Either. Through that shit, like shots, and like I guarantee you, there was like there was some camera tricks that. Oh, there are definitely camera tricks. Do you I know the there's sequence? camera tricks. You know I, the I was, after they kill. Like the camera tricks, I'm just saying, were like really fucking good. Like yeah. so you could believable. see when like it would come up, and you'd be like, "How the fuck are they doing that? Yeah. That so looks so good, man. Yeah. This is crazy." That's that's my indicator of like. I like why I like a movie when the entire time I'm like, how did they do that? <laughs> how did they make it look like that? Like how? How do they really? Like yeah, exactly. And when I'm like that the whole time, I'm going, that's this is a movie I like. <laughs> like I like this because I'm so just perplexed and mis- it was more it's than mysterious. that. Mysterious. It's, it's, it's mysterious. About, and it's interesting, and it's just like but, what the hell. Think about how <laughs> disjointed some of, some of the like fucking. That. It would be like one very like you're very engaged with this one scene, but then it'd go to like and they would be on the like in this like underground fucking bathhouse type thing, but then the and then you're very engaged with this under ground bathhouse but then it's fucking the next scene is in the goddamn desert and shit bro yeah. the people in robes like <laughs> chanting and stuff yeah. you're like what in the fuck bro? okay okay when they pulled the whale oh, yeah. when oh they pulled the God, whale out of, yeah, i did not even look fuck? up we didn't even look up if the whale was fucking real <laughs> you literally said, this whale literally remember. at the beginning <laughs> at the beginning of the scene i was like i don't think that whale's real it looks like it's deflated whale like does not look real at all, and then, it and then as the it gets closer to the camera, you're like, Dude, uh, is that a fucking real whale? Is that like gills and <laughs> shit. Like, like, like what that looks fuck. It, it's like I don't remember. It's in the documentary about how they did that scene. It's like a sea monster almost. I love that there's like there's like an edge of magicalness to this film until, and then you finally get to the end, and he's going to get like cure his like uh, limp dick problem, and he finds yeah uh, uh, Inethio. Uh, or Anethea, or whatever her name is, Anethea. Um, 
the the witch who's been or the woman who's been cursed with like fire under her, her oh, legs yeah. and stuff. And she's and shooting like, fucking fire out of her and pussy. There's like that's to- the only source of fire. They and have. There's like totally <laughs> so magic good. right at the end, and you're just like, oh my god, magic exists in this world. And then you go watch the movie again, you're like, oh, magic is a thing in this. Yeah. Well, and then they also do that thing like in fate that part, is part of that magic where they go in the close up of that beautiful girl, and then they go to the reaction of the guys. You know, the guy seeing that beautiful girl, but then it goes back to the beautiful girl and she's whatever the like fuck. Like a corpse of like corpse mutilated. Corpse or some, and... yeah, it's just like fleshy nice. fucking. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah, and then it goes back to her again. And it goes back to the beautiful girl. And you're like, and zooming what? I love Was the this way guy he... just tripping or something real quick? I, or... Kind of, but I, it's definitely like replicating that kind of experience. And I crazy. love the way he's shooting through crazy. the fire. He's like yes. zooming in through the fire and yes. stuff. Yeah. Dude, how the fuck did they get some of those shots? And and as a I'm a fucking I'm a fucking music nerd, it's a sound guy, audio shit. Yeah. How they did some of that shit in the what year? Sixty nine. Sixty fucking nine. It was the summer of sixty nine. <laughs> to me, knowing the kind of technology they had back in '69, it was just painstaking, you know. It was just it, like the whole on process film. must have been. A, j- oh, absolutely! They, it was, I mean, dude. think about this. This is a huge piece of work. Think it about had this, to have been. How long did it take? It, less than a year. Yeah, you like fucking fifteen minutes or some shit. They, he probably wrote it. Fucking a. <laughs> How many fucking armies of people did he have working on this insane? So like scotch insane. tape and some scissors, you know, bro. Full, he had a full crew. I mean, the, this budget. It, this thing had like five or ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is DIY, homie. This was like a. Fu- <laughs> this is DIY this as fuck. DIY with like fucking three thousand people. <laughs> this is like <laughs> him and some homies. <laughs> like, Holy oh, shit, like man! Four thousand people and it had like oh, oh, okay, okay, right? okay, 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 okay. All right, okay. fine. Four fucking real. It had, like, it had nearly a ten million dollar budget. I'm pretty sure. For in the time. Sixty nine. Yeah, it was like a big. Big production. We talk and nobody, about. Uh, well, I don't say. I'm. I'm sorry. If I'm. I was gonna say. And nobody's seen it. That was gonna be my a lot first of people reaction. Have seen it. A lot of people have seen it. This is a big thing. It is. If you're into movies. Oh, it's been around since '69 too. This is hard for me to wrap my fucking head around because of how fucking to me how good this fucking movie well, was, man. Well, was honestly, on, uh, man. more and more these days, you find out that a lot of fucking good film. It's behind you. <laughs> no doubt, right? Yeah. More and more. Because same with the, the music. A lot of shit. Same film with music, totally. Is movies can definitely people, present. Dude, dude what I and, fucking hate. And cut it out yo, of you. <laughs> yo, I'm I'm not Especially Fellini. Fellini was making a movie. Fellini's Casanova, which I've never been able to see because it's only available in Europe in any version. Even but that's the what they talk about in V for Vendetta, right? Even the what? Casan? Oh, I'm sorry. I think You're talking about Count of Monte, Monte Cristo. It's Count of Monte Cristo, yeah. 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 Thank Fellini, you. Fellini's Casanova stars Donald Sutherland. Jim Caviezel, yeah. <laughs> Paul <Fellini's- laughs> JC himself. <laughs> Fellini's Casanova stars Donald Sutherland. And it, if we watch the trailer for it, it looks insane and you're watching you're like how do i get my hands on that and the dvd is not even in region one it's in fucking europe you can't even get that shit you can't rent it you can't even buy it in america wow and it's like i that's one i want to see damn because it's like mid to late 70s that's donald sutherland crazy. is the main character that's nuts mm-hmm how is that? How is that not available? I have no clue. That's cool. It's unfortunate, man. That no I feel clue. like, dude. I feel like shit that we just watched tonight should be. Whoever has the rights, it's like that kind of thing. That was like, like the it's like European movie. Yeah, it's it's someone's like, hey, no. Yeah. I got, I'm just gonna have this. Like, yeah. It's almost better. It's an though. artist. It's, it's an better. artist who is just like. Funny enough, the guy who produces all of Fellini's movies up through Satyricon and a little after that is the guy who produces David Lynch early films oh really which is what like what David Blue Lynch. Velvet um Heather Graham there was an interview with Heather Graham uh on Mark Maron that was very interesting Mark Maron her, her, her talking Shit. about her yeah. talking about like early days with David Lynch and like being on commercials with David Lynch and what's then, Mark and Maron's, then being on Twin Peaks what's oh, Mark Maron's awesome. podcast called dude what, what the fuck WTF I, I need WTF to get, I need WTF to get on that Mark shit Mark Maron's my jam dude I fucking amazing his podcast is incredible he's, I found he's an incredible interviewer mm. he, he, sometimes exactly. I'm like there's certain inter- I mean he's just so many that not everyone is going to be like that's the best interview I've ever heard but like he's pretty consistently like but with a the good people interviewer. that he, like 
honestly, like, he's opened my eyes to a lot of people. But, like, most of the time, if I know the person, like, and I can visualize them, like, how they kind of are just, like, through, you know, me seeing them before the show, like, before, you know, just being familiarized with them, like, I will enjoy the fuck out of the episode. Just, like, what he's asking them, like, mm-hmm. how, he, oh, totally. how he, how the whole thing is composed and how he composes himself and, like, who he is, too. Like, he's fucking awesome. I love him. Totally. I totally he's agree. real honest. Oh, I that's love what, the honesty. That's yeah. what I like. Really, uh, There's not a whole lot he's not mm. willing to share. Yeah. No, Dude, for me, like, Definitely that's... a template for me on this. That's why I'm like, all right, well, we're going to talk about shit. <laughs> for me, yeah. man, that's one thing that I've been, like, really steeping myself in. Like, even if I hurt some feelings, bro, like, I need to be honest as fuck, dude. You know? Yeah. Like... I just in the long run is so much more satisfying and better. You don't just have let, that. Uh, just let the like, viewers oh, know. The listeners know. Um, like, uh, Mike is moving to Portland, Oregon. Bone chicken brown cow. In like fucking <laughs> nine uh, days, like two eight, hours. Eight oh, days. oh yeah, nine yeah, days or something like that. Nine wire, days last dude. night. And you're like seven, eight days. And you're like next week. Dude, I'm not very good at math, but it's close as shit. Next week, next yeah. Thursday, yeah. and today is so, uh, technically Thursday. fucking Thursday. Holy shit! So this is the last time we'll be speaking to him ever in our entire lives. And uh, this is the last time I might ever speak. He's probably <laughs> he's he's. I don't going, know if I get to talk. After going this. there to be a monk. <laughs> Vegan, of course. It's <laughs> gonna go up there and live in the mountains, and I'm gonna fucking sew my own clothes and shit. Yeah, like, out of <laughs> grow buffalo, my own buffalo cotton. fur. Yeah, <laughs> buffalo fur. <laughs> and it, we're proud. <laughs> it's a proud day. We're, we're proud to have him here. God damn it, I love you guys. Uh, come see me, dude. Get a. At least you calm down. Calm down. Come, come ride a train come, come, or something. Come, come, you know, come, Elon Musk is working on it. He's boring and stuff. Uh, how about with those two <laughs> brothers fucked? Yeah, they were which brothers. time? Which time? They aren't brothers. They're not brothers. They were just like thieves that were like banded together. Uh, and like they like, that kind of like, like, so like interpreted as brothers or like they, they were like they were brothers, brothers, brothers in the sense of like we're brothers in crime. Okay, yeah, no, I understand that. Like, um, I won't snitch on you. I understand that you, now, but literally, while watching, I literally right thought they and were brothers. We'll no, no, they definitely aren't brothers. They were, they were like, so like, what's cool about them, and I think this is what makes the movie epic, is it's like their stories of like all the shit they got into. And if you can imagine like a larger text where there's like stories in between the stories that we saw. And it's all their adventures together. And it's in Colpio and Oshilto. And it's following yeah, Colpio mostly. That's just like Star Wars it. Episode One. It's like, if you can imagine what happens with like Anakin and Obi-Wan, like super cool. In like Episode Two and Three are so much cooler. I hate if you can just you right imagine now. like... <laughs> not, but not you. I hate you. I hate you. Right if you just like imagine how cool it was, like the movie's way better. I'm not talking about imagining how the movie was. I'm talking about imagining how there's like... This will make the movie no. I understand better because if you like read the books and you know what happens with Anakin and Obi Wan, like it's super <laughs> fucking cool. You ruined this. <laughs> You've ruined the idea. You've ruined it. No, I've not ruined it. You've ruined I've it. merely made a twist that was bad. <laughs> bad, bad twist. Bad twist. Really made a bad twist, baby. And it was a fun bad twist. <laughs> Prequel memes, motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all add your comment. Prequel meme. <coughs> oh. No, I love the idea that there's like stories in between. And so, like, all the stories you're seeing is just like in Colpia and Nishilto getting the shit together. And it's like at first they're enemies in the very beginning of the story, but they're really just like bandits that are like on and off friends yeah and they get caught by uh who are distra- very dramatic they're like can i throw oh, yeah. that out there they're very dramatic they're both very although god damn it this just they're like super they're, battle droids you oh said no they're fu- this is an italian holy shit you said this brace is shields the guy's italian right <laughs> oh, Fellini. this guy Fellini's italian yeah italian fucking dudes are dramatic as shit man yeah. The fucking, you, they talk with their hands and shit. Very you know? animated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need the pizza to be on time. <laughs> All right, 30, of a basil. 30 minutes or less. <laughs> you guys got to see Amarcord, which he made after Satyricon, <gasps> and it shows his entire like upbringing as a child. It's awesome. This guy Fellini's upbringing as a child? 
Yeah, in his like small Italian town. Rimini. Oh fuck yeah, Rimini. Can we talk about some of the music um, towards the hermaphrodite uh, yeah. era? when they're all chanting and Mike brought Holy up shit. Mike yeah, brought yeah, up yeah, yeah. that it sounded very much like the beginning of Hooked on a Feeling and it totally <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, it's yeah. like kind of <laughs> like <laughs> that was actually not in the hermaphrodite sequence that was in the minotaur sequence fuck oh, it when he was okay. running through the maze in the minotaur true that the, it was right before. And those it was right before. Weird, those weird yeah. So the, yeah, the, those two sequences and... like go into each other. Yeah. Yeah. One leads into the other or some right shit. Before, they they, they kidnap the hermaphrodite and then they get into the desert. They kill the other guy with them and then they're like in the desert and then it just cuts to him like rolling down that hill as like a captive with the Thur- Thurmians. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Or whatever. yeah. Yeah. Real quick. Real quick. Just because you brought up that hill part. I noticed how like there was like a section of the hill that's like darker brown where you can tell they had to do a bunch of takes of him rolling down the hill. Oh yeah, totally. You totally. know, like, oh, it's really? like it's yeah, yeah, it's like it's like where the soil had before. been but, like, like it's all there. On, they did him, like, yeah, he roll down. <laughs> but what's the hill. great oh, is like, and then totally on the outside did... where he didn't roll down, it's like lighter colored. You know, and what's great is he totally did that on purpose, so it would look like multiple. Like, <laughs> he left it in there. So, well, yeah, like so many people have been like subject to this. Like, oh, and so it's like oh, it's like the dark really, implication yeah. of like that. This isn't funny. the first guy who's fallen down. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. that's awesome. Actually. Okay, yeah. real quick, just now, just now, because I real quick again. Thought, I swear to God, because I just thought of, I'm so sorry, but you said at a point in the fucking beginning of the movie where you were like it was filmed where they were speaking English but it was overdubbed in Italian and, oh, totally. the, and you said there was a reason for it right it's to throw you off it's to throw you off but but oh, it did. was it was because but it was because the Fellini of- wanted Fellini visually wanted something right he wanted it to look a certain way and that included like the cast <laughs> looking a certain way and so he didn't care if they Does were Italian do- actors who could, or ta- actors who could speak Italian because th- that limits you to a, a certain person that looks a certain kind of way like y- you don't have like your full option so he's like opening his options up like, I don't, I don't care can- what language Holy they speak shit, they'll, is- they'll speak their own language and they deliver the lines we'll dub it with whatever we need to dub it with and you saw I need that to throughout the fucking right. movie so yeah. he's cast the people that he exactly wants them to look like that's, so that's what Alaska Lynch and James Marsden bro and it, well, that's what it, part, look at those frescoes at the end there's a part of the Tommy beginning. Lee Jones there's a part in the beginning Tommy of the Lee movie Jones. you got you got fucking Jason Manzukis is in the show Manzukis is in a fucking shot I mean like come on everybody's in this movie no but look at the frescoes at the end like your those old roommate are, those are supposedly he's in this movie he's in it <laughs> <laughs> Those frescoes are supposedly real, and he casted perfectly for that. Bro, yeah. I, I, I could see that, because every single fucking thing looked like it was there for a reason. But at the beginning of the movie, there was a part, I don't remember which character it was or whatever, but their lips matched what you were reading on the screen, not what you were hearing. hearing. Yeah. That which I thought guys. you were, were that which happens. I thought was going to carry out throughout the movie, but it totally fucking didn't. Because Alan pointed out at some point there was a fucking person who was speaking, but there was no subtitles to the, what they were In, fucking. Yeah. Well, that was like it when it was a different language. Anytime yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't and that happened Italian. like yeah. throughout the fucking movie. Like there was some crazy shit that was going on. There were like shit, little bro. weird like, internal mm-hmm. rules that they were that you kind of had yeah. to figure out on your own. But it right? that, like, that's of, yeah. just that kinda, happens like, subject like, to interpretation. A almost. lot of Italian films that happens that even even I in the old old Italian, great, uh, English films great. these days. It, it, even if it's like you know, it happens in most films that are native to that country. Like if if we watch a film here and like someone else is speaking like some language that you're not, it, it's as long as what it's intended for the audience to understand. That's a know? good point, dude. Yeah. If it's if yeah. it's generally not supposed to be understood by the audience, like you said while we were watching it. It's true. It happens with a lot of films. Then there's going to be no subtitles. And yeah, then, and you're then, not. You're not supposed to. Know and then it'll saying. be like someone else being like, "What did you say? You were wait, like, what? Like, uh, yeah. yeah." There's a character who's like, "I don't know what you're like." In that scene, they're like, <laughs> yeah. "I don't know what you're fucking saying." They start kissing her, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like, "It doesn't matter what you're saying. We're gonna fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Language is no barrier, baby. Let's yeah, get it out. They were all sexually attracted to each other, and they had goddamn, they had every right to be. 
Because holy shit, they were all they were in a be- up and... They were in a beautiful fucking palace. And this, yeah, this and then they righteous. Fucking, uh, where the fuck was that? Because that was amazing. Dude, the, the, the great the set. scene Good where... Good God. And Copio's going through that tunnel with the holy sun. Holy shit, dude. In front of his face. Oh, I, dude, that's my favorite shot yeah, in the it's whole Yeah, an amazing movie. shot. So much fun following him. And Before he's... the set, the got invented fucking 11 years later. So that is a not what? steady cam Hold shot. On, where say it's that just again. Falling with the steady it. cam got invented that again, eleven dude. years later. Repeat that shit again, because he the whole fucking movie is doing steady shot. Say <laughs> that shit a lot, again. A lot dude. of that is dolly, but that particular shot in the hallway is like they probably used a dolly, but they did it in such a way where you're like, I don't know how the fuck they used that. Dolly. Say it again, Chase. The Steadicam wasn't invented until 11 years later. The whole on fucking Stanley Kubrick's movie, The Shining. This whole fucking movie was like the equivalent of being on Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, and the Steadicam inventor invented the Steadicam so Stanley Kubrick could get the hallway shots. That's the insane, man. That's oh, fucking nuts. It's so sexy. After seeing this movie, thinking about those shots is sexy those, too. Yeah, hearing those <laughs> facts. Sexy, dude. Those are sexy after ass shots. Hear, uh, so he was just fucking, he was just like, hold my elbow kind of thing. Like, what the fuck? No, I'm, sure like, they used, I'm sure they used a dolly or something, yeah, but like, for sure. it just looks great. It looks and it, so like, I don't good, know, bro. I honestly don't know what the, the settings on the camera were, where like, he's perfectly, you can see everything. He's like in silhouette, but he's not in silhouette. And then the sun is perfectly visible. It's not blowing out the camera or anything. There's just like just beautiful enough to focus. it. Just enough focus. And his face is just like blah. Like, yeah, and it's following with him, so they're follow Just focusing. parts that look it's, like you're in part of so Alan's much. fucking... You look like you're in one of Alan's collages, dude. There's, yeah, it's well, insane. That is every time I watch this movie, I think of Alan's collages. <laughs> Fuck what? yes, bro. It looks like one of your fucking collages, man. Straight up. Some of those scenes look like one of your fucking collages. Every time... Straight up. That's why I've honestly been wanting to watch it with you, because every time I watch it, I'm like... This looks like a collage. Yeah, I've seen this Damn. before. Where yeah, have I fucking awesome. seen this before? Brilliant. That's cool. That's a very good compliment. I thank swear you. Swear to God, dude. Thank you. I don't think How I can accept this... that, but I thank you. Dude, come on. <laughs> of course, of course. It's straight up. The it's Minotaur not, sequences right. to me are my favorite because I love the way this. Mm. The, I, okay, You've so even done Minotaur shit, bro. It's not like some. Fu- we're not just blowing smoke up your ass. No, no, no. Well, yeah, no. I g- genuinely mean that. But the 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 Fellini wind. That's what I call it. It's that sound effect you made for the wind that's blowing through that. It, Super like, hilarious, in my opinion. It gives me Fucking such hilarious. It gives me such a weird like feeling, and then that's playing, and then the the people in the crowd are just doing that. Dude, like, some of the music okay, 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 okay. is yeah. amazing. Oh my god! Like after they do the uka chaka uka uka spent... uka, after that, like I have to look at the budget, but it, dude, it's so in the millions. Fucking cool. They had to spend so much goddamn money on that fucking. <laughs> they had to spend so much fucking money. Oh, on they that definitely shit, did. Bro. It it's was crazy because the quality is insane. The acting's great. Insane. The, the, the editing's dope. Like the, the cinematography is Love nuts. It. How did more? How how is it not more people know about that shit, man? That was a fucking that was a killer movie, dude. A lot of people just don't want to watch um, subtitles. Foreign films, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Foreign films in general, for sure. People these days, ha. Right. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Ha. There was a fight. And there was a fight, and there was no boner. <laughs> and after that, there was no boner when he tried to fuck a girl. He tried to fuck a girl Adriana. with no boner. Adriane couldn't get a boner she was, going. She was like, "What the hell?" She's super offended. She's like, "I got which, which is the opposite of women these days." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And that's a funny joke and also a very offensive Seriously thing. Seriously true and yeah, hurtful. <laughs> <They're> hilarious. <laughs> and also accurate. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. I guess we just have to hang out and eat Pringles. Uh, I, uh, Netflix I remember something else about <laughs> about like a corpse. <laughs> Uh, there's like a it's perfect Netflix and chill. Just actually, literally, like literally, just chill. Like. They eat someone after. Or is that like way before? I can't remember. Oh, you know, Yomopio, um, the poet who ends up being alive after the whole sequence. Oh, and he's a rich bitch too. And, and he's like rich, and then he's like, I have a cure for your impotence, basically. And they're just like the women are all slapping his butt with the twigs, and yeah, there's this like, oh. beautiful fucking swing, and like all that's happening, and then it doesn't work, and he's just like. 
like, oh, I need to know what I need to do. And then the gardener who's like doing all those fucking crazy patterns in the the dirt is like, you need Yonithium or whatever, Yonithio or whatever. And he tells her the leg- tells him the legend of the witch. And then he goes through all that, gets his virile back. And Yomopio told him he was leaving on a slave ship or a ship that was traveling, like carrying slaves and other goods to Africa. And he's like, meet me there tomorrow. So he goes and gets his dick hard again. <laughs> and then he goes to meet him at the slave ship and he's dead. And then in his will, it's like the only people who can, like, I've, I've got all this stuff in my will and you can have it, but you have to eat me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. And, and the slaves are like, this has to be a joke, right? This is a, he's joking, and all the rich guys are like, I don't care. Yeah. One moment. No. Yeah, one like, moment no, of we don't think he's joking, actually. Yeah, like, I will eat him. This is, this is normal in other cultures. This is still done in the world. Um, it, I know an hour of nausea will uh will well, only be grant uh, me all uh, the like a riches. lifetime of wealth <laughs> like, and, he, yeah. and they're just like the, the amount of like fun i'm going to have with like what i get out of this is is worth the, the yeah hour they're all sickness. chewing him and just like oh girl yeah, and there like, wasn't, like, like, some, <laughs> we're eating him we're gonna get all this money dude there wasn't like some fucking crazy music to coincide with that crazy fucking part of the, it was Pretty fucking chill. They were Dead, just having deadpan. a. They were just having a conversation about eating your fucking love. Yeah. Thing. Like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for sure. How, it then, how did um? But then what was great is like then Uncolpio goes like out with all the slaves and like all the other like servants and stuff and they get on the boat and they just like he's like we went it off into the, to many foreign lands and like unnamed lands and like had all these adventures and blah 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 and he's like in mid sentence he's like. Uh, I, I forget what it says, but it's like mid sentence and it cuts off and then it just like does the zoom out into the frescoes where you're like, and you and like Those there's all it's like you, you, you've watched this movie that has all these adventures with him and this other guy and they, but it's in Colpio's adventures right and then like there's adventures missing in between the adventures but they're all implied yeah right and then you get to the very end and then he's like talking about how he went off to on these distant lands and had all these other adventures and he's doing all this other crazy stuff and then it cuts off in the middle of it and then it zooms out and it's like oh this is all like rubble in the ruin Dude. and it's all like fragmented just like the story is fragmented like you just mm-hmm. see characters on like a broken fresco it's all ancient history and there's just this whole thing of like time and how everything's lost in time and like and it's how the actual story itself is constructed Petronius is satiricon is like fragmented we only have like we only have like we have like seven or eight of the volumes of like what we know to be like a 52 volume Thing. Oh my god! It just and so seemed, like there's all yeah, and it, it all falls awesome. this character. Yeah. Did it seem like I, 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 this is just how I felt, like reflecting. Tell us back how you feel. It, reflecting back on it, it just seemed like context was given to you as the fucking movie progressed. Like you weren't privy to shit until it fucking yeah, came up. Uh, like, exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like and you didn't know what the fuck was going on until you fucking experienced it or whatever. And like they. Until it, like, there was no, all right, here, we're going to give you some fucking context as to what's going on to fucking later on in the movie or some shit. Like, yeah. there was well, no, well, even like, a lot of it was, like, vis- a, very visual as well. It's, it's like, fuck. Even, yeah, even yeah. with all the talking going on, like, there was so much conversation that was that was not even helpful to you. Oh, like, fuck. literally, Dude, literally just the visual like, and tonal, like, yeah, like elements like, would like, guide you yeah, it was like, more it was than like, the words. There are subtitles there. In, <laughs> there are subtitles in certain parts where it's like, it doesn't even matter what they're saying. Like, the subtitles have something interesting to say because they're, like, all the characters are saying, like, weird or interesting things. But, like, it's not relevant to the story. If you just watch what's happening, you're exactly. going to get, what, get more of, like, a sense of, like, what you're supposed to be saying. Which is what you were saying about those weird languages that would pop up, right? That did didn't have fucking subtitles. Yeah, because right? like, he's pointing you in the, in the Roman's point of view, and he's putting you into uh, the point of view of somebody who wouldn't understand those languages. Anyway, so like, yeah. yeah, so like you're you're meant to be seeing it from this point of view, and so like it, but it's all service to a visual experience, and, and it's God all bless, it's all yeah, service to Nailed a film. And that's he, why he we goes, wore our three D Spy Kids glasses. glasses. Yeah, this was from why we 2000, did it. Two thousand, two thousand. What would you say? Two thousand two. Because in 69, they were totally... No, he's lying. <laughs> um, I don't man. know. <laughs> it's all technicolor, guys. Right, right. Um, he was for making Eleven, shit. Eleven, Eleven's Definitely. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> so I, This motherfucker was visionary. He, it was all service to a visual <laughs> because he knew that filmmaking is meant to be a visual medium. So, like, it... it 
everything is secondary to the, the what's on screen. So well, there's not a single shot in that movie that's not there on purpose. Brother, like you're talking about Robert Rodriguez <laughs> <laughs> and a machete. Was that the fucking? Was that the no, Spy Kids? <laughs> spy Kids. Dude. Alan Cummings is the greatest villain. <laughs> I love Alan Cummings as a villain. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah, this is Swear mastering to God, the thumb people, <laughs> dude. It's so fucking. That is okay. I don't give a fuck what people say. Spy Kids is good. Spy Kids so, 1 is great. great. Spy Kids 1 is great. Alan Cummings is a great bad guy. Mm-hmm. Great bad guy. Anyway. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, what did everyone think of the film that we watched tonight? Fellini Satirica. You won't like it, but you'll love it. But you won't. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I like it. I like weird shit and going into it I thought it was gonna be weird like Mr. Nobody weird it was more weird like you twin- you literally okay more, <laughs> now you've mentioned Mr. Nobody twice and before you, the first said, time you mentioned it you said hey long as let's not, not watch something like Mr. Nobody yeah. now you're mentioning Mr. Nobody thank same. god it wasn't right like, well Jesus I agree with you Mr. Nobody is too on your mind is what I'm saying it might be it might be it's, I think you might hate that movie it's fucking possible but what I fucking forget got about Mr. Nobody, it has it no more twin relevance peaks-y. whatsoever. You're probably right. Yeah, no, Mr. Nobody it was is not even, wasn't even close. It's not even a blip right. on the radar. Not even close. Fellini's Satyricon is a lesser Fellini film. It's just a <laughs> weirder Fellini film. We're talking about an artist here, man. An artist. Well, not Mr. Nobody. Well, then I apologize. But what I got from it was more of a fucking weird, like Twin Peaksy kind of vibe. I was like, you didn't quite know what the fuck was going on or or why, but you were enjoying the shit out of it. But there's definitely a reason why, and it's like Lord of the Rings. You got it. You, it's you all built in the universe. Yeah. You know, it's all built in there. You just gotta like go you, watch a bunch of times. Yeah, find it. You gotta read the books. You gotta figure it out. I wouldn't read the books. I wouldn't if I were you. Um, Any books? I from, I would read the biography what, about from, Fellini. What, I would not from read what little Petronius that I read, <laughs> From what little that I read online before we started recording, um, a proper knowledge of Roman and Greek um, history and philosophy is critical. Is very. It's it's very helpful. important and it's helpful, helpful. It's to helpful. watching this movie. <laughs> it's helpful. It's helpful to know mythology. You know what though? I mean, let's just pretend you didn't know a fucking thing about it, though, right? That's me. You don't know. You got a gist, maybe a little bit of a gist. That what's, movie is what's, fucking. I was trying to get a gist. What's from great about this movie? Uh, it's it's that, all an allegory for the 1960s hippie culture. You don't in, it. I could see in that. America. I could see that. They, they even had the guy life. dropping acid. Right? Yeah, they definitely had a guy dropping. They acid. had a guy dropping acid. Yeah, the the whole, same fucking um, the Fellini, theater guy. Fellini, interestingly enough, Fellini dropped acid um, around the time he did Eight and a Half in a controlled experiment. They brought him into an apartment room, and they, uh, with the scientist, a doctor, uh, like a priest. bunch of different specialists. <laughs> no, they, I don't know, I don't know, there was a priest there. There yeah. was definitely a priest there. It was all for a scientific experiment. And they gave him like a high dose of acid, like 1960s level experimental. Shit. And he became so he, he he forgot everything that happened he became incredibly like fast paced and animated for the entire time and he just did like insane shit for like and it lasted for way longer than it was supposed to instead of it being like an 8 to 12 hour trip it lasted for almost 36 hours oh and he was like 36 hours just being awake in an apartment just doing insane shit like not even like just being like a crazy person and like drawing out all these different stuff and Dude, people said that is when he came up with the idea to do a Petronius adaptation I mean honestly Jesus. honestly the I things didn't... you were telling me like his concepts and fucking like again go over what you were saying about how he was writing a fucking film about having writer's block Oh, eight and a half is is the is the quintessential for I don't know if it's the first meta film because I mean it's Citizen so he Kane was struggling with like film. how to get this film done and he writing was a fucking he was struggling so much of like with the film that he was going to make when he was making eight and a half because he made <laughs> La Dolce Vita which 
is a masterpiece and it's considered his masterpiece but was so controversial in Italy that like old women would walk up to him on the street and spit in his Slap face. Slap him and shit, right? You know, literally spit in his face. Good like God. people literally spit in his face because he made the Dolce Vita, which it, it, it's an inc- it's an incredible film, but he was moving away from neorealism. It, there's the dude the biography of Fellini, there's, it is so in depth and like he is so important to like international cinema. So many different things happen. Winter national cinema. Winter <laughs> All right, you guys, it's uh, Winter Olympics are, are here and we have winter national cinema. Thanks for tuning in and we're uh, uh, and that's NBC. And, and that's, NBC. that's, that's my in. joke and now back to the serious guy who knows about film. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to be lecturing. No, no, no. I'm complimenting you. <laughs> For real, yeah. We're like, me and Alan are like, sitting here Please like, teach us. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Neat. I, I don't know what to make that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Fellini is amazing. You're amazing. There's a lot of information <laughs> and history to him. What he was doing in Satyricon specifically is an interesting little blip in his career and all the rest of his movies are sufficiently weird. It's just not incredible. nearly as weird as Satyricon, but like he takes that weirdness and applies it into a little bit like tighter narratives and stuff and then you're just like these are amazing movies. Bro, yeah. it's incredible. These are just like incredibly beautifully made, like trippy, but like very digestible movies. Like and then he's like there's stuff he's done in later career I have not seen. Having mentioned Casanova, City of Women, I showed you the trailer for that mm-hmm. with uh, Margiela Mastriani, who's in all the other movies. That's not Satyricon. Um, yeah. And Spaghetti Postriani. <laughs> Mar- <laughs> Marcello Pini <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I totally should have said spaghetti post Rihanna. <laughs> you just did, brother. You just fucking did. Not soon enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, he went on to some psychedelia in the later like 70s and 80s that I've never seen, but uh, I would like to watch. And we will probably do on this podcast now that... We've, we've opened the doors. we've opened the door to Fellini, but we yeah. if we do well, Fellini, we're gonna have to dive into Terry Gilliam, which I, I, always I will always dive into him. I love him, <laughs> and I'd love to I'd love to do if we do a Terry Gilliam. I'd love to dive into Chris Marker and do a Logite, which I know you've seen. If we do if we do and do Terry Sansa Gilliam, Lane. I just want to literally dive into a lot that Terry Gilliam has done. I, I just want to talk to about. Do, I just want to talk about Terry Gilliam. I want to do time <laughs> a couple <bandits>, apps. <laughs> Fisher King, Time Bandits, fucking Jabberwocky, and just Monty Python in general. Monty too. Python. I want to do Monty. I want to do multiple Monty Python episodes. Yeah. Oh my god. I fuck with that could, shit. You could spend an entire weekend doing. Um, I uh, we usually rate the film. I honestly like I, I more and more films that we watch that are like good. Like last week, I'm pretty sure we didn't even rate. Like we were just like we rated it. We, we rated it, but like at the same time, we were like, oh, like okay, this so, film's uh, like. It's too good. It's dude. too good that like we don't want to like be like weirdos and like rate the something stupid as fuck. Scale of one to six hundred eighty four thousand one hundred forty two. We we do our own scale, so everybody has their own scale, and you have to the audience has to figure out what that means. I like that. That's mm-hmm. delicious. Well, I'm gonna go with you. H. Also has to. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a scale. That's a scale. <laughs> On one to seven, it was an H. <laughs> I like that. yeah, we good. all know where that lies in the alphabet though. <laughs> so jokes on you <laughs> you fucking idiots which one's high which one's low a or z alpha omega alpha omega <laughs> uh, for me if, if if 
if Hermes is good and Aphrodite is bad, then this movie... Aphrodite's great. What are you fucking <laughs> talking about? If Hermes is bad and Aphrodite is amazing, then this movie <laughs> is Aphrodite having a porno film done with Zeus and Hermes. Yeah, becoming oh, her, her, fuck, her Maphro man. Hermaphrodite. Her, her, her Hermaphrodite <laughs> getting her face cummed on by Zeus. It's a, it's a facial. Heroes filming. It's a facial. It's a facial. Wow. It's a facial. Wow. It's a facial. Instead of it's a facial. It's a facial. It's a facial. It's a facial. Wow. Holy shit. That's amazing. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, honestly, like I just want to give this film all the respect that it deserves with mostly regarding that all the fucking actors that they get to play secondary roles and like in the background literally look like actors that exist today. Like you have yeah, so right, right. many people that you're just like, oh, that's that's that guy. That's yeah, that's that guy. Like it literally happening. just looks like people that exist today to the to the smallest of degree. Yeah, they're a little. But off. you can you can find them. You can off. find them. It's awesome i love it so fucking much i'm pretty sure neil diamond was in this film <laughs> we had then. we had tommy lee jones we had some other folks you had jason manzukas you had james marsden james had... marsden for sure and natalie uh, portman even natalie portman bit, was in there a little, a little, little bit, bit of natalie a little more elderly, natalie but... portsmouth <laughs> and honestly she... i want to know who played the slave girl who ended up having the three-way with them and in the in the like oh, abandoned dude. house, holy and, shit! And the the witch uh, or the the cursed woman, Athena or whatever her name is, the fire the, in between the legs. Like, gorgeous. Those two oh, women yeah, were absolutely. so fucking pretty. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stunning. they were incredibly good looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they, totally they looked agree. they looked better than um. Little sex boy. They look better than Gitone. <laughs> Gitone. And that's saying Gitone. something. Gitone. On a, he on was a, hot as shit. On a scale of uh, <laughs> fucking, let's see here. Um, Roseanne to Gitone. <laughs> that's a pretty good scale. There's a lot in between that's those, a great those two. Scale. There's a lot you in know. between those two. <laughs> You know, I'd give this a, a shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd give it a Heather uh, Graham. I'd give it a Heather Graham. Oh, Heather Graham's above that. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, Heather Graham's a fucking 15 on that scale. <laughs> on the scale of nine. <laughs> Heather, <yeah. laughs> Heather, Graham, Heather Graham will for always be burned into my mind in Boogie Nights during... Uh, oh, Christ. Yeah, you're, right, yeah. yeah, you're right, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's you're right. You want to like fuck? sucking the shit out of his dick. He's just like... On rollerblades, just like ripping her skirt off. It's like, I don't know, this game, man, or whatever that yeah. song is, like playing, and you're just like, not only A, is she so fucking hot, that shot is so fucking good, and that <laughs> movie, right after that, just fucking takes off. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And you see a lot more of her naked. But she's too, sh yeah. she's too funny for this film to be on the scale. I, I feel like you need someone distinguished. Naughty, a little naughty. Huh? Distinguished and Honestly, naughty, but also the woman, sexy. The woman who played the dancer who was like with the, the guy who stages his own Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, she is so fucking awesome. I love her. In the her. other Fellini movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, I've not she's seen. In, she's in Amarcord and she plays like the fashionable woman in town mm -hmm. who's like really... Lady, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. redhead. I'll, I'll, give it, like, I'll give it a Tilda Swinton. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who that's a good one. I don't know that. For this movie, that's a, that is a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That red-headed lady, though, is in Armor Court, and she's so fucking awesome, and she's like, she's like the fashionable lady in town, and just like, everybody wants to fuck her, even the kids, and then there's like a scene <laughs> where they're the like, kids. even the kids. There's a scene where <laughs> she's, she's in the, the, the movie kids. theater, and it's like early cinema days, right? So she's in the movie theater, and she's completely alone, and the main character, which is the Federico Fellini character, goes into the theater. And they're the only ones in there. And he starts like on the other side of the theater, and he slowly works his way through, <laughs> sitting next to her. And he starts rubbing his hand up her leg, and he's like, until he starts trying to find her pussy. And then she just looks at him. And she's like, "What are you looking for?" 
and he just gets like so freezed up he's like 15 or whatever yeah and apparently that actually happened in Fellini's life and then Jordan and I met a guy who owned a store in New York named Amarcord who grew up in Rimini knew Fellini and his best friend's mother was the woman that that character is based on and he started Harvey Weinstein company <laughs> <laughs> Have you Harvey Weinstein and Pussy Touchers? <laughs> he was dead before that was even a thing. Harvey Weinstein and the Pussy Touchers. <laughs> Let me rub your pussy in this movie theater. <laughs> Come on, girl. I know Without you consent. Want it. Dude, pretty certain. Uh, okay, what's was, great about the pretty scene? Pretty certain. Of, what's great about the scene of the movie is, is she like she's like the only one there, and she lets this like kid do it until it's not a, like until it's a problem. Well, She's when like, is that? She has the power. She when has the power. When she comes, I like after that she power. comes, then it's a problem. All right, folks. I think we've gone far enough. <laughs> Done this. I think we got far enough, and this is this is a good time to stop. We love you guys all. Thank so you for listening. Much. So much. This is a uh, long episode. We we appreciate. It's gonna get yeah, edited man. for God's sake. No, 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 no. It's not. Not, not that much. Not, not that much. It'll get edited Honestly, enough to where it. Not that much at all. Half hour long. This is our best. It's gonna sound like nothing. This is gonna sound very consistent. Fluid, and uh, we thank you for listening. If you listen all the way, uh, our friend Mike Roberts, he's he's leaving <laughs> March first. Um, he's never gonna be back, and we'll never see him again. We'll it's never we'll never have an update. I might even die. He might die in the way. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't die. Please don't die. I really hope he doesn't. But uh, we, hey, we, I'm taking hey, the hey if he does, does like this podcast if he does, successful. we'll we'd we'll, like to have you back. We'll say something after the episode. You know, it's gonna take a while. Hey, with technology out. and stuff, you know, I can fucking just send stuff to satellites, and it'll yeah, be your back, will. Video. Hopefully, you leave me something, something in your will. Yeah, and or my Steve or John. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, now that's comedy. I like that. I like that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks and for a good morning. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Drive safe. I know you're driving. What, is, what you. does George Nori say? He says, oh, shit, I'm this shit. I should steal it. Do you know? I don't. I don't. Can I'm you sorry. say it? Can you say it in the mic? I don't know. What's George Nori say? Shut your eyes and stay fashionable. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs>